What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller. To my immediate left, the one and only former champ slash champ now slash Johnny Ace, producer slash producer, Nick Scarpino. He is the president as well, I guess, too. Slash slash. Yeah. The guitar hero. How are you? I'm I'm good. good. How are you? You're wearing a broken in kind of funny shirt. I like that. I know. I can't let it go. Me too. I love those ones. I I have two of them that are This still is is hanging. Mm -hmm. It hasn't made it over to the Sleepy Time shirts yet. Mm. So, but it's almost there. I was going to say, your wife, I know, keeps a, a tight watch on what's happened with I, all your shirts. I actually wanted to retire this one. And she was like, no, you can't. That's the classic shirt. You can't retire that mm-hmm. and, and until you get another one. And I'm like, Lord knows when that'll be because I don't I don't order. hit up Fareed. Fareed will send him. I know, but I don't, I don't put people out. Like it, no, they are making the shirts for us. It's not putting anybody. I just do it. Yeah, I assure right. you, no one's that's buying them. They're just sitting there collecting in, in dust. My brain, in my brain, I was like, "Oh, we're going to RTX this weekend. Maybe I'll just oh, stop by the store yeah, and yeah. grab one." That's good. And run. Inside. And run. She, my wife actually said she's like she put an order in. She's like, "Go by the Filthy Casual booth and buy a, course, a couple like, shirts." Filthy Casual. And I'm like, I Their have to lawn, go. Man, it's hot. I have to strategically go by because if Mike's there, yeah, he gives me the shirts, and mm. I feel uncomfortable because I'm like, I want to support the brand. Sure, I think they do that to and me. And he too. goes, Nick, you're you're so cool that you by you just wearing the shirt, uh, you sell thousands of that. garments for us. That that's what he said. Right? Yeah, he said thousands of them. Wow, that's take cool. all. Can you do that for us? <laughs> Start wearing more nice. Mars stuff. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm can you wear the keychains? I can definitely wear the Can wear the pillows? I can. I can just clip them onto my ears and nipples. Over here. Old Blue Eyes himself Old Blue Eyes at Tim Gettys. Uh, I have a new Sleepy Time shirt. You have a new Sleepy Time shirt? Uh, I want to hear about it. And then I have a follow-up shirt question. Okay. It's the Mizzou shirt that I bought in Mizzou. The yeah. blue one that's yeah. like very, very kind of funny blue. Yeah. Like like yeah. The, the color of this hoodie blue. Yeah, the old, which the old is, hoodie. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I would have it be a normal shirt because I love that color blue. But it's that like... That material that kind of feels like it's Too made thick. out of a, a cereal box, oh, like that type really of cardboard. Thick. That it's like <clears throat> shitty. It's cotton. not thick enough to say cardboard, but like it's thicker than just paper. But if you wash it with like harsh water, it would come out, and you could just hold it up, and it and would be a rah! shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's it's fair. Upsetting. That was you shirt. You know? yeah, no, I, I, I wish it was have. softer. Yeah. So I might need to retire it even as a sleepy time shirt. Oh wow! Use this rag. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Mizzou rag. <laughs> one of the one of the uh, saddest moments of my life is when I had to retire the um, Golden know, Boy. No, the Diet Coke. No, I no, I still. I almost Coke. wore the Coke today, Ooh. actually, but I was like, Nah, I don't want to. I don't want too many things. I still have it. No, the the uh, Hawk Hawken shirt. Ah, oh, you one? did love that Hawken shirt. I love shirt. the way that thing fits. Yeah. It's, I love the material out of it, and now I sleep in it. That's, I, we favorite, started. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. My favorite sleepy time shirt of all time is the Love Is Love shirt. That we got at PAX. Oh, yeah. Love yeah, has yeah. no labels. Yeah, yeah. That's I wear that all the time. I love that. That's a super nice shirt. It's the softest super soft shirt, shirt yeah. ever. It's made of like whatever the material boobs are made of. Skin. Skin. Yeah. That's yeah. skin. That's human Young flesh. Skin. Yeah, yeah, but like, you know Supple, what I'm talking about. Some nice collagen yeah. in there? Some. I feel like breasts and butts Ugh. and then even like groins right their material like or their skin texture even on your own reach out and touch your oh, own cock oh I get what you're saying right? yeah, reach yeah, out yeah. and touch no, the nut, like the, nutsack the material don't the, go to the nutsack don't go to the nutsack the thing ever that thrust area yeah like, exactly where it's like it's not quite I feel like yet. anybody's <laughs> private bit skin area is softer and has a different tactile sensation to it because it's not exposed to the elements everything else is out there getting you know run around getting the old mm-hmm. rigmarole look your face Cardboard. Totally. Yeah, Sandpaper. exactly, exactly. I, but you get in on a good nip like Nick's here. Man, I just got tingly. I know I you did. genitals yeah. have extra cardboard. I'm sorry. Over there, uh, uh, we have a science with Kev from kindoffunny.com. It's Kevin Cole. I, I It's been a long time, but I do believe that the uh, genitals have extra collagen. In, and that what do you mean it's been a long time? Since I've studied since science. Been, since you've been a scientist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought since you've seen your genitals. Uh, I'm wearing this oh, Spider-Man no, I shirt really that I love very much. I put up photos on Instagram <laughs> and on Twitter because I'm afraid it's going to be my one day with it because mm. it is a large mm. and that means when it shrinks just a little bit, it will be, I'll be over the line. Yeah. If I, if I could guarantee it would always be this size, I could probably keep rocking it in between wing binges, but I don't know, man, probably not going to hang in there. The thing is I am, I'm on the cusp. I'm, I'm kind of a Marge right now where you're, medium yeah, I was going to say medium to large, yeah. but I just can't get used to shirts being tight. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I, I as as, 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 as fat a, boys, we want that space. We want to be able to be lost I just, in there. I don't like. I like the a little bit of a blousiness to yeah. my shirts. Yeah, 
you know? I don't want to hug any of the curves. No. I don't, you know like, I, mean? I don't know how Andy does it. Like, Andy has that, like, that tight little body, and he yeah. wears the shirts that are just, Jesus like, skin tight. Like, <laughs> just let him go. Let him I go. I just can't. I can't let it Guys, go. Guys, <laughs> we're in a safe place. We're on the Game Over Gregory show. As everyone knows here, we have to call like we see it. And Andy does have a supple, yes, that tight little body. Tight. <laughs> Oh, guys, he he what is he? guys, stop. You guys can't do this. No, but I just... No, it's the show. It's the show. No, what? no, no. He can't. I find show. myself still every single day, every time I sit anywhere, I do the thing where you have, you have to untuck it. Oh, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah. You have to untuck it from the frumpy bump. And frumpy uh, bump. I'll just never stop. Now, here's my next Can't question. Stop, stop. I want to pull a pin out of you, Tim Geddes. Please Earlier do. today, we were recording an XCU review. Mm-hmm. YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Podcast services around the world. We're reviewing all the X-Men films. Yeah. Who knows what order Deadpool's in? I saw your shirt. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I've seen this one a million times. Yeah. I've never noticed that it's not an all over print. It's an all front print. Yeah. print. The back that. has no Mickeys on it. The Chim- front has out. a whole bunch of Mickeys. Out. That is weird. I like Is it. that not yeah. weird? Yeah, we've talked about it before on this very show. I don't know if you were on the episode. Probably yeah, wasn't. I apologize. Nick loves it. I think it's cool. I hate it. It's grown on me. I think it's a uh, cool shirt. But it's a cool shirt. Yeah. It's just a lot of people think it's a mind ants. fuck. They, they do look a little like No, they're very clearly Mickey. But that's fine. Because Here you got, print, you got like a poop mark too. on you. That's oh, like, that's like some, it, it looks like Porty got, got you. I got Porty does that sometimes. Today, man. We went to this place called the Chicken Coop. Yeah. <laughs> can, can we just talk about this for a second? So we've been mean. What is the Chicken Coop? We've been going to Chicken Coop for nearly a millennia. Yeah. At is this it fried chicken? Right? No, no, no. It's rotisserie. even better. Oh. Rotisserie. So it's this like family run place. It's like Tommy's joint. You ever been to Tommy's joint? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's that it's kind of exactly thing where you like walk that. in and you get the tray and they're like, but what do you sandwiches. want? And they just load oh, your plate up. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But and less like Thanksgiving but not dinner a bar. type stuff. Yeah, not a bar. Because Tommy's it's, joint it's, has like a bar. It's totally one of those places in the it's like, Tommy's butt joint crack of Daly City. It's a weird Italian place down the yes. street. Oh. Perfect. Perfect, Joe. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Joe. Or man, just like the Italian place. I always get my fucking ham dinner where you get just a slab of ham. Yeah. They give you the mashed potatoes. For lunch, that's what you're doing for lunch. Yeah, we did it for lunch. We're over dinner tonight. Are you hungry? Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. Who the fuck are you talking to? (laughs) 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 Who the fuck are you talking to? Shit was fantastic, though. Chicken coop, man. Cash only. Mm, fatal flaw. But Today, also, in expensive. addition, in addition expensive. to it being cash only, we were in an area that had we we parked and yeah. it was a, a meter, and we actually had to put quarters in mm. the meter. These meters look like they were props from a fucking movie yeah. made in the seventies. They're from the original meter, mm-hmm. or it's They're like the original, the original meter. meter, where it's literally it's not even digital. It's just it like right. is, is a little is flag that, that goes thing? up. Or that so goes from red. Tim, That's it. How do you not know? Just go around the corner. There's, no, there's uh, unlimited parking. There. And the problem when you're cash only is you just gotta you get the dice rolled and that's how it is today i went to arts mm-hmm. lovely little diner that i i, I enjoy arts? it's in the sunset oh that's fun it's oh just, well, just the counter there? it's the one colin used to always go to when he'd be like i'm yeah. going to, i'm going to the diner and he would just go there and it's get like a, it's like a tokyo uh like restaurant where you kind of sing yeah oh yeah totally yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 jen and i went there on a breakfast day today it was lovely i love i love arts so so much we go there so much now but they're cash only which i knew and i checked my wall before and i looked at it there's the 20 i'm gonna be fine and we got there and got the bill and it was 27 and I was like, fuck, I thought this was going to be 22. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and I counted out the money and they got a $2.50 tip. And I would, I, I tip them healthy usually, but today they got the raw end of the stick because you're cash only. If you're a credit card, guess what? Five bucks, six bucks every time you're busting your ass over there. I see it happen. I went to a dry cleaners the other day to pick my shirt up. Sure you did. And uh, sometimes my wife gives me cash. Like I'm like a child that goes out without cash. Sometimes she's like, she like puts a twenty in my pocket. She's like, so I have she uh, safety pins it to you. Because every once in a while you you run into the place that's cash only. Oh yeah, yeah. And my like we I. She knows it bugs me to have to pay the three dollar fee to pull a twenty dollar out. Yeah. So I, anyway, long story short, I go to pay cash at this dry cleaning place. The guy's like, "No, nah, man, we're card only." And I'm like, Baller. "Welcome that's to the future." Awesome. I was like, "That's, that's the way awesome. it should be, man. Can card they, only." Can they legally do that? I feel like that's legal. Hey, tender. man, private businesses you can do whatever you want. The guys like, we no, can institute we don't an cash. open bathroom policy here because it's a private you business. You definitely can't do that. Like, you we can't, no. are we passing that law? I don't nope. think so. No. Nope. Okay. Everybody voted. What it is down. the vote? Is that what the meeting's about? Uh, That's the official vote. No, the official vote is whenever we want it to be. But I feel like we've lost it. You know what I mean? And it's just a, it's our arms race between that and the open mouth kiss. And you never know where you're going to end well, up. Well, I now. think the thing is the open mouth kiss to me is like when you're dealing with the censors of a network. Do and like you, you you put a bunch of stuff in there you know they're going to cut just so that mm, you slide they, past yeah, the other stuff. Sure, couple of the up the sure. mouth kiss policy was doomed from the beginning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Obviously, in this cl- current political and social climate, I'll tell you what. having an open mouth kiss policy at an office just seems outlandish, right? Mm-hmm. But by comparison now, how does that open bathroom policy seem? The 1986 seem, Transformers animated movie. Oh, uh, yeah, the and, test. And, yes. Ba, ba, included ba, ba, uh, a Bumblebee very and fucking extreme sc- star f- fire. <laughs> fucking right Starfire, and a fireworks. very extreme use of the word damn it 
uh, when a, a planet or a moon was being eaten um, by Spike's character when he was with Bumblebee, and they did that so that the sensors would be distracted from the traumatizing death of Optimus Prime. Mm. And it worked. Yeah, interesting. So they let the movie go that way, and they, they had to take the damn it out of the, out of the movie. And Wasn't like, there yeah. a shit in that movie, too? Oh, shit. Or, oh, fuck. Like, isn't there a part? Where Maybe it was a shit. Maybe it was a I shit. I think it was a shit. Damn yeah. yeah. Damn. That makes sense. They do that all the time. I, I forget what director was famous for that, but there's directors that are, they, they'll throw so much stuff in. Just knowing that the MPAA will have to like, they'll be so overwhelmed. They're like, well, I'll take this. And it's a weird war of like subjectivity mm -hmm. where it's like, well, if only one of them were in there, that would be the target. But if you have 15 of them in there, like two or three of them are going to slip by. Yeah. Yeah. Like there, there are people like, I forget who was, that was talking about it. I'm sure Mr. Yasman's going fucking nuts in the chat right now. Um, but yeah, they'll, 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 they'll put a print through for a rating that they know is going to be rated X. And then just just to the ha to have Down them pull it back to, to that that R that they and wanted to sweet fucking smart R strategy. R. What I like doing with R. cash is when I get it out of the ATM, see how long I'm gonna actually have it. I like feel so old. Don't you feel old timey when you pull out cash? Yeah, it, it also just makes you feel like you have your finances together yeah. when you pull out your wallet and you see green in there that you haven't used in weeks. You're like, That's I awesome. It. I hate it. Sure, so I know. I don't like it. Why do you always much? have so much of it? I don't know. Let me see. But how, I, throw it down. how much you got? I had forty dollars that I spent today on this very expensive chicken coup meal. I also paid to pay for Joey. She vend me. Why do I Damn, have Damn, that this? is a lot of 20s. Why but do you do this? I, I do the same thing. I go there, I hit the fast cash button. Oh, I think it's 100, 125 it. bucks. I don't do 20 that. bucks. We put in there. I don't. I pull out like 40 max. I don't know. Now I here's, honestly don't fucking know. Here's an interesting one for us. Yeah, give uh, it to no. me. You don't know, or maybe you, you've met him before, but Tim and I know a gentleman named Patrick. Mm -hmm. We went to Missouri with him. Mm -hmm. He was working on the Microsoft thing with okay. us. Patrick made a new, we were like, we were talking about New Year's resolutions at the time, right? And we were like, what is your New Year's resolution? Remember this? Yeah. And his is like, I want to see if I can go the entire year and use an ATM no more than three times. Whoa. An ATM. Yeah. And he, and I was like, what about going to the bank and getting cash? He's like, no, that, that counts. He's like, I, going and getting cash from anywhere counts. Can I just ride on credit cards? The Absolutely. Whole time? Yeah. But he, yeah. I mean like, yeah, but like, what about when you go to the, the chicken coop and you go, go to, to it? He's not going. Mm -hmm. I mean, Seems I, like no I never have cash on me. I never have cash. The only reason I have cash is like we ever, occasionally my wife will be like, hey, I'm going to I'll give you some cash for like to cover something because she usually has some on her. But that's pretty I, much you it. I really do, too. But then when I do, I have a fucking surplus. Yeah, I don't. You I, know I what do it enjoy is? having it. You know it, what though. it is? It's usually I have to pay for shit for my mom. And then when she pays me back, instead of being a normal person quarters. and writing a check, it essentially is like, well, my brother will just walk by my desk and drop off an envelope. I'm like, why is there a fucking envelope? And so I open it up funny. and it's, it's cool, $117 when you in get, cash. When you get like that envelope when full of money. When she owed me 400 but <laughs> I guess 117 will do. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's the deal. It's installment. Here's the deal. I bet you dollars for dollars I get a, a message about that comment you just did from your mom. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I have a very special well, why relationship. Why are you taking the messages for Tim? Just the way it goes, Greg. I ask questions you don't want to the messages aren't and directed she knows. at Tim. She's watching right now. Yeah. She's sometimes, not watching. Sometimes, so the, not, definitely not watching right now. There's no, no way no, she no, knows no, how to use right, Patreon. I right dare now, her no. to use sometimes Patreon. Sometimes Anne right now, has sorry. to vent to someone, and I'm her contemporary, uh, because I'm the, I was the eldest here. Closest here. Closest like, yeah. we, sure. we commiserate a little bit sometimes. Okay. Uh, yeah. We commit. I, commits, Tim, as, as long as I've known you, you've always had wads of cash on you. No. What do you mean, no? You're saying I'm wrong? I don't like cash. I feel I don't like anything extra in my pocket that doesn't need to be there. I don't even carry a wallet. You know this, right? I, know I just have cards. loose cards, yeah. I have five loose cards, and I'm that trying to go down dangerous. from dangerous. I just can't do it. Joey doesn't like it either. No. I've lost. I've, I've lost. Uh, there have been some casualties yeah. here and there. Yeah. Uh, but a large, not because of the things that fall out of my pockets, but because I, like the only time I ever lost my car was because I accidentally left it in the stupid airport thing. I was so tired at LAX. Oh, the that bin? I, I, the you bin? know, like there was, there's, this, it, there's the United Terminal at LAX. It's like that weird round one where you're oh. like, what the fuck's happening? It's all claustrophobic and jumped together. And I was, I was buying a bottle of water. And I got distracted for a second. You know how sometimes the cash register is like a thousand fucking things there. Sure. And I just totally forgot it. I totally left my, left my card at a restaurant uh, I, for the first time in my life that I just lost my card. I was like, fuck, maybe three weeks ago. Called him up. And like, oh, yeah, we got it. I was like, oh, thank God. We're good. I go to pick it up. Fucking one of the weirdest exchanges I've ever had in my life. Go up to the dude. And he's like, oh, and I was like, oh, like, can I get my card? I called in. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah the guy I called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he starts talking to this like couple at a bar, the bar next to me. And just like. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not rape, but, like, it was close. You know what I mean? What? And I was just, like, kind of just here in this conversation. Like, is he holding onto your card and he won't let go? And, and I was just, just like, having this conversation? Like, it's fucking weird. And then it, it turned into, like, it was, like, such a real conversation that I'm, like, you, probably, you couldn't have waited, like, two seconds to give me my card yeah. and let me leave? I'm definitely not coming yeah, back to this like, bar now. Like, All right, bye, guys. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, it was very fucking weird.
I'll say this though, shout out to whoever came up with the idea of being able to put your card like like to pause your card instead of having to completely well, I'm not familiar with this. So if you lose your card now, and this might just be with Citibank, but uh it's Wells Fargo too. Is it Wells I think a lot of banks are doing this now. If you lose your card, you can go online and and act and deactivate it until you find it. Oh, cool. And if you can't find it in a day or two, you just call them and say I lost it and they just deactivate it completely. Gotcha. But that way it alleviates the inevitable stress of like you freak out. Don't know where your card is, and then you find it a day later yeah. every single time. Yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of yeah. Well, I once came home time. drunk, uh, shocker, and went, yeah, I know, right? In the old days, and went to get got pizza in between the pizza and the house. I'd lost the card because I paid for the thing, and so I'm kind of drunk at home and couldn't find it. I'm tearing apart everything, whatever, and then like called and canceled it and did this. And they're gonna mail this, and it's gonna be you know, I have to be there in person to get it and sign for the thing. And I'm like, ah, oh, Jesus, fucking great. And then, like, no sooner did I hang up, I tore up, I like did something else to the wall and there was a card. I'm like, motherfucker. And mm-hmm. like, it's done every time it's out every time. Also I'm- last night I had a dream that I threw Pertillo at somebody. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the game over Greggy show each and every week four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table, each bringing a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to patreoncom slash kind of funny where you can get each and every episode early. How early Joey? Right now. You can be watching it live right now as we record it. We put up a link on Patreon for just a buck. You can watch and enjoy it in the times of the kind of funny uh, summer break we're doing right now. Nick Sarpino, you have a question. When you threw Portillo, did you spiral him like a football? No. So what it was is somebody was annoying me and I was like, whatever. (laughs) And I grabbed Porty as I often do like this. So his head's over here in my right hand, Uh his his booty booty's over in my left left hand. hand, And then not even as a, as a, as a chest pass. I threw them at like I threw Porty at like their knee, and Porty kind of just hit their knee and fell, and then of course hurt his leg. And I was like, "Fuck!" And I was like, oh. "No, yeah, he did." Did he make a sound when he hit the knee or just the floor? The floor, the floor. Okay. Yeah, he yelped when he hit the floor. And I was like, "Fuck!" Here we go. I fucked my dog. Because I imagine up. you fucking teed him up like like boom, fucking boom. double pump, bah. pump pump. Yeah, who pump, tight pump. spiral? Yeah. Ears flopping, <laughs> yeah, tongue flopping, slow mo's on him. Yeah, totally, totally. Right to the chest, like right in that little I like that. quadrant. Where Every Friday fall. you can get early on Patreon.com slash kind of funny as well, as long as you'd be getting a bunch of other stuff and things and whatever. You know, you get the pre-show if you watch live. Mm-hmm. You get the post-show if you watch live. Mm-hmm. If you support the video on Friday, you get the pre and post-show. Uh, if you support as a, a, the audio, you don't get that. So that's a thing. And then it's over there, and it's fun. And just regardless of how much you give us over there, thank you so much. It makes all of this possible. Uh, however, if you have no bucks to toss our way, it's no big deal. Go to youtube.com slash kind of funny where you can get the show a week later on Friday for free. Denada, as they say. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Is that what it means? Denada? Yeah, Denada free. You're welcome. No, no. That means, I mean, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. No, no, does it? It means of nothing. I, yeah, of nothing. Yeah. But that's, that's not free. free. It's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's no, free. no big deal. It's no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it ain't no thing. I liked in, in Moana when The Rock sang that You're Welcome song. Yeah. That's really all I really remember from Moana. One of the least interesting parts of that movie, I would argue. Huh. Yeah. What was more interesting about Moana? Shiny. Oh, wait. She goes, I am Moana at some point. She that was does. really good. That was, yeah. Nick has a question. I'm Everybody. sorry. Nick Nick from Kind of Funny. Now, Greg, as you know, um, we had a pact that I would go to see Mission Impossible Fallout and that I would boycott the beard slash mustache combo that Henry Cavill has. Sure. It. I mean, the idea was that we were going to boycott Mission Impossible and not go see it at all because mm-hmm. they ruined oh, Justice League. Mm-hmm. So oh, I would go I see it. And then, and then you were like, no, I'm going to go and I'm going to boo uh, and hiss and stuff. And I'm like, great. I want to throw it out there. Yeah. The, the Henry Cavill beard, uh, the mustache slash grimy beard thing mm-hmm. that he had going on was awesome you so wait should, you should consider doing it so it's was it the handlebar mustache, or just at, the mustache? It, here's what here's what we're gonna do if we were doing it to you you keep wearing the mustache out right now yeah trim it off right at the lip line mid lip line uh-huh. and the rest of this it's is like, like five o'clock shadow four days growth maybe three days growth you keep tight i feel it like it looks really cool you're just him. missing the point of course that henry cavill doesn't suffer with like the chins two through four like i do mm-hmm. and i feel like that might not be as good a look for me because of the multiple chins i have i feel like you're missing the point of it would go really well with an ipa like if you had it in your hand sure. it would look just sure. like twins you know what i mean like like it belongs there okay like okay like it's go. meant to be yeah exactly Wait, okay. so are you saying that he'd be, greg miller would be a twin to henry cavill or the greg miller to and the, the ipa would be we'd twins. be twins uh, twins maybe not not the we're right meant, word. We're what meant to go together. Each other. Each other. It's peanut together. butter and jelly. jelly. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. Yeah. Keenan yeah. and Kel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Nick and. No, Keep peel. Uh, Tim, I want to go make the fan spin, but I want to know what your topic is. Before we get to the topic, I, I have a subtopic topic. That I want you, the Portillo thing. I want to talk about Portillo a little bit. Right Kevin's there. He's making things happen. Um, well, now I need Kevin though. 
Huh. At it's the, almost at like the, my plan was going to be a better plan. Yeah. Interesting how that happens. Interesting. The you know, Kevin's look here. at Kevin doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know how to work a fan. Down, though. Um, Great. Good job. As Kevin. you all know, I do not want a dog. I will never get a dog. I've made this very clear in my life that I this, have nothing. Yes. Does Gia want a dog? Gia very much wants a dog. You're going to get a dog at some point. But that's the thing. It's like, it's like that's one of those hard no's that I had to give her. Yeah. Maybe two weeks into our relationship, there was mm-hmm. a conversation we had. It was just like, so where, where's the line here? Mm-hmm. Like, what are the, what's going to happen? Are, are what's we, our if, we're moving, if we're moving forward in this relationship, uh, Nick Scarpino from kind of funny. If you get a dog, is Gia going to make that dog sleep in the bed with you and Gia? Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> that's. Because sure I'm thinking about getting Gia a dog. I'm not going to lie. So just, well, just, just cut to that, like, that, like the, you know, the moon through the window pane, put in. It's like a, it's a beautiful night, the full moon, put it, spilling the light, and it's just Tim. Gia's dead crying. asleep. Dog's dead asleep. Tim there Tim's wide open, the just fucking the little, like, angry thing Dude, coming up. That, 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 is, that is accurate. Anyways, uh, I saw something. That that might make me reconsider. All right, and I hate it because it's like it's every ounce of my being to not want a fucking pooch. Why? Don't don't ask why. How many times have you had to leave to go walk Portillo? Oh my god! So oh, many leave times. parties? No, 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 sir. No, 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 not parties. Leave anything. Leave. Yes. How many times did I want to stay though? Okay. Not that often. Not yeah. that often. You know what I mean? Life sucks. Portillo is a great example. I I've walked Portillo thirty minutes before I when I got there. I've been there an hour, and I'm like, well, I fucking gotta go walk the dog. It's a great excuse to leave, and that's yeah. what we're always looking for. I have a joke Greg, about it. You know, your friends know that, right? We're just yeah, it's not like, a good oh, excuse. No. Oh, no. So, yeah. I try. I I, it's, it's such a common thing that I actually wrote a joke about it. It's not a very good joke. Yeah, but I wrote a joke about it. Like, I'm, so, I'm so fucking tired of people le- using their dogs as an excuse to leave sure. parties. I, I heard this joke. joke. I, I, I remember hearing this joke. Keep you, going. Keep well, going. You're always like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. The, dog, the dog's at home. <laughs> it's been there all day. I'm talking about the times like you actually like it's got need somewhere to go. else fucking to go. Yeah, yeah. Ruining the plans we have because you need to go. I take ruined care the of plans we have? Uh-huh. Yeah, like that time we were all having a great time and then Portilla blew out his ACL like a fucking <laughs> college running back. <laughs> times one through four where that's happened. Uh, <laughs> all right, first off, guys, this is an uncommon thing. He uh, blew out his ACL when we were getting ready to fucking cook cooking with Greggy. We kept cooking. Don't worry, it stop now. Yeah, and the entire time I'm trying to have fun. Me and my dog's dogs hobbling around like, please, somebody do the ACL surgery on me. He kept going over with a gun and putting it to his head. He just, he's trying to cock it with a little paw. He just can't quite like get the, fly. The, the energy back. Poor dogs cause a lot of problems. They cost a lot of money. They do. You can attest to that. Uh, in the la- I, I would I mean, here's the thing. Sure. Here at the end of his life. Yeah, he's costing me a pretty penny once mm-hmm. or twice. But I feel like if you spread that over 13 years, not that much of an investment. I don't believe that when doggy daycare gets... Doggy daycare is very expensive. How much much do you think per month? I do not like how this is The dog (laughs) costs you over the last 12 years of of your ownership of it. How much does it cost me per month for the last 12 years? How long long does it get my tax returns? How old is Portillo? 13. How like it ballpark it? Have you ever, maybe you don't want to do this? No, I don't mind. Oh my god, you can't when, I, like, when you buy like you buy a car for instance. Sure. Like, my car like when I bought my Honda Accord, it was uh, like I think it was like twenty five thousand dollars. Right. Right. Brand new. I was like, this is opulent, and it's lasted me uh, the day. almost <laughs> almost thirteen years now. Yeah. So you amortize that over months, and it's sure. X amount of dollars per month. Sure. Right? And that and that's how I, I'm like, is that a good investment? Is bad yeah. investment? Or not? I mean, even by that thing, I think Portillo is a great investment in terms of because right? it's the enjoyment factor yeah, out of him, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, like, I mean, compa- I mean, you, you can't put a dollar amount of companions. God, but if we had we to, what would we say? Like, him, I want to say it was like three fifty Missouri money in two thousand five. Three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, Damn, that's a good return. And then it, and it was the thing of too. Like I remember it being a not a big deal, right? That it was you know my ex bought him. And then I went to the pet store while she was like getting him settled at home and bought a bunch of stuff. And I remember it being something close to equal, like, you know, the toys and the food and the bed and this. Thing. I, I, that sounds ridiculous now. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Maybe I bought a kennel too. That might have been it. But I'm like, all right, cool. It kind of equaled that. So we'll say initial investment of Portillo is like 600 bucks. Mm-hmm. Right. And then sure. Like food wise, like what? It's not much, right? Isn't no, it much? that I mean, I we just bought. I Maybe I buy a, 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 a big bag of dry dog food. A mo- every month and a half. Does he ever get in it and you're just like worried to go and then you root through the dog food and he's at the bottom and he's like, ah. no, if you've lost sight of Portillo, he's in a trash can. You know I mean? <laughs> he's just fucking, he's, he's tearing just apart the needles. He found a fucking tissue. Like, where did you find a fucking needle exchange? Like, here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> just poking in his face. So wait. And Tim. then like wet dog food nowadays is again his older thing you get and that, you know what, it's a, 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 a regular sized can. Well, now I don't use regular sized cans anymore because they won't sell the, Paul Newman stopped selling this dog food I like that way. Mm. We and heard the story. I kept ordering it from Amazon. They kept sending me the wrong thing and now i'm just kind of giving in so i have like 
a whole bunch of free dog food I'm using right now. Uh, but not that much. I mean, that's all negligible, right? But yeah. then it's like, yeah, the vet stuff of like the vet stuff. But that makes sense, right? We and then yeah, now that he's that. an old ass and fucking, uh, you figure every time he pops to one of those, the, he he's br- he's blown out both back knees. Mm-hmm. Uh, once so the bionic and yeah. so that's why we call it he has a ten thousand dollar ass because mm-hmm. each of those was five fucking grand cool. God, which Jesus. I was not prepared for Fuck. I, I I was not prepared for <laughs> I and I'll tell you the first cry. time oh my god I did too I would oh, cry. Are you kidding me? I'd be like oh, the man. first time it happened it was the, uh, there's there's the story goes like this the first time it happened of course it was high stress situation uh Jen and I know we're getting married you know we know we've mm-hmm. only been dating a few months I was like, mom, you have to come out and meet this woman, this woman, Jen. You know what I mean? We're going to time it. It was in November, right? Uh, or Yeah, November, I think. Maybe October. doesn't matter. Um, uh, that would have been 2016. Like, you got to come out. You got to meet her. Blah, blah, blah. And like, all right, cool. So mom already it was like, you're married. I'm like, yeah, okay. So, but it was like, all right, cool. Mom landed, brought mom home. Uh, we went to lunch. We ran around, did some stuff. And then we were getting ready to go pick up Jen from the airport. And yeah, like it was like an hour till we we're going to do that. And I was unwrapping a bone. We had bought Portillo on the table and he got all freaked out. And I, I still think mom's probably watching this. I still think mom knew. So I had my back to the whole situation. Oh, I'm not whoa, saying she whoa. threw him. Down, no, I'm kidding. Uh, he ran up and got out of her arms and then jumped so off the, the back of the couch. The Freudian dream about throwing a fucking dog. landed and beep, and like wouldn't put any pressure on it. And so then it was like, fuck, rush him to the emergency hospital. They're going to do checks on him, run over and get Jen. Hey, this is my mom. Also, Pratilla just fucked something up real bad. Go there, do this, blah, blah. And like, yeah, when, he had to have the surgery and get the cone. Like I was just devastated because yeah. that was my nightmare of, I remember when he was a puppy, puppy, puppy. Like, I mean, like it was day two of having him. I was standing up holding him and he wiggled. I've never, I wouldn't, I was, I didn't, I wasn't a dog person. He wiggled out of my arms and fell the entire, you know, my six foot to the ground and hit and yiped. And I kept trying to put, put him back up and he, this little fucker, I'd put him back up and then he would start to, and then he would just fall down. And, I was like, <laughs> and I started crying and like, my ex came out and she's like, what? And I'm like, I broke the dog and he's going to have to wear a cone. And sure enough, he was fine. He just jammed his like, yeah. So when it was like, jump ahead, thir- pretty much 13 years, 12 years, 11 years. And he has to wear the cone. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I failed. Do you think a long enough drop for him to feel the air on his face before he gets to the ground? <laughs> oh no, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like stories for him, right? It's when like, you think yeah. about how big a dog <laughs> building would be. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I just imagine if, like he's probably one tenth of you. Yeah. So if 10 human beings oh, drop yeah, me, yeah, that's yeah, a really yeah, long that's drop. A long time, yeah. so, so like, yeah, the first time he did it, it was complete <laughs> sadness and I can't believe I failed him as a father and this happened and they got to rehab him and I'm trying to put his ass in a sling and walk him down the street so he doesn't put away it was a whole fucking rigmarole yeah. and then you jump ahead yeah to August when he did it when we were doing cooking with Greggy and that if the first time was sadness the second time was all rage, rage. of like fuck you I can't believe you I fucking how why why would you jump off and you know what I mean and like it took I would honestly say it was about a month and a half schism between me and him before you looked him in the eye I was like every time I saw him you piece of fucking shit are you kidding me <laughs> like, you know exactly what you did now you did it blah, blah. So and sad. then if you want like and I don't think Pertil pulls me away from the, we I was playing it up with the, I gotta leave to do it I ra- ra- rarely do we all party out we party a lot whatever I don't think he pulls me away that much. The most important time re- in recent time was the judges week yes. where you and I wrapped the kingdom hearts event and everything's great. And uh, we grab Andrea, a very drunk Andrea. Yeah. Who was we were ready to have fun, yeah. which is always, always a pleasure. Drunk Andrea is like, is more rare than you'd expect. It's very rare. So it's she's very, very rare. she's the busiest lady in game. Yeah, she's and got then, to when do. you and I was like, I am ready to fucking have fun tonight. This is gonna be. Well, awesome. if you remember what I'm happened, catch up with Greg. He's gonna tell me about all the fun games that he's got to play. And then it was Judges Week. You had landed. I was already out drinking with Jen, Andrea, Tara, Bruno, and John Drake was there. And it was that thing of like, all right, cool. Andrea and I got to go to work and see this Kingdom Hearts thing with Tim. You guys keep drinking. We'll catch up with you for dinner. Everyone have a great time. Yeah, great thing. Blah, blah, blah. And so yeah, and Jen was like, I might go take a nap. I'm like all right, whatever, just let me know. We went and saw Kingdom Hearts. The event's done. We're getting ready to leave and BSing. My phone rang, and I answered my phone. I'm like, hey, babe, it was Jen. And it's just, like, howling, sobbing. And I was, at first, I couldn't tell if she was laughing, and then it was, like, pretty clear, no, you're not laughing. And I'm like, what is going on? She couldn't get through it because she was, like, sobbing and choking on it. And I was like, she's like, poor too. And I'm like, is he dead? And she's like, no. And I'm like, I'm on my way. And it was that... We were at a hotel. We had brought him there. We had like you know hotel beds are as bit, tall as the fucking roof. Feet in the air for no fucking reason. He was there. We had a do not disturb sign up the entire stay because we didn't want people knocking and him freaking out. 
And so after day four or whatever, they came by for a wellness check and knocked on the fucking door. And Jen woke up from the nap and was like, oh, okay, I'm coming. And then they knocked again. And Portel was like, enough of that fucking shit. And jumped off and landed and yiped and was doing the whole leg thing again. And so this time we got there, I got back. She's sobbing there. You know, it settles down. We're doing it. And it was like, if it was rage the second time, this time was literally like us being like, well, we're not fixing your leg. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah, you don't, you don't happening. get your leg fixed now. This is when we call Uncle Kevin and shit. he builds you a little wheelchair. Maybe this will slow you down. <laughs> you fucking idiot now. And then it was like the emotional roller coaster of rage of then getting mad at the hotel because mm -hmm. it was like I've had wellness checks before but I've never thought about it sure. and it because we travel so much but it was also thinking of like the do not disturb sign is up for a reason yeah, like don't, don't fucking, fucking disturb us yeah. and, like, and it was like we had been down there that day like at the front desk like they know we're alive we had talked to the front desk because oh it was that Jen was trying to Oh, she, yeah, I had gone to take, I had taken a nap that day during Judge's Week, put my phone on Do Not Disturb. She had come back without a key. They wouldn't, she didn't want to knock to wake the dog, so she went down, but they're like, we can't let you in because you we don't have any proof. It's, it was like this whole fucking, and it was just pissed off. Anyways, it turned out that was just a bruise, and it wasn't a break, okay. but it was like, it was like, well, now you're just fucking a three-legged yeah, dog. That's that, all you I mean, my <laughs> threshold would be one, and if he did it again, I'd be like, just open the door, let him go. Just yeah. let him fend for himself. I mean, that's you know, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't it's know. like Harry and the Hendersons. It's just, just like, the, it's hey, just yeah. trying to get used to him being a much different dog. I talked about this. Oh, on Gamescast the other day, right? At my post show story, I didn't tell oh, you. Yeah. I was loaded with a story for you mm. on on the kind of funny morning show, like and then this. I looked at the calendar and I wasn't on the morning show that oh. Wednesday. It was Andy or whatever. Who cares? Just kicking. Last off. week, Tuesday night, uh, I had the weirdest thing happen to me. Okay where uh, basically I just cried uncontrollably and couldn't stop. Oh. And what it was is we had been watching TV and Porty was trying to get between us and he, Porty yelps now at the drop of a hat, period. But he did something turn and like all on his own. None of us were fucking with him or anything. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, like, all right, cool. And then like I scooped him up to take him outside and now he, he's getting so tired at night that like he's just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. the most like dead weight dog. And I, 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 it was like, this weird yelp of like, man, he's getting older. And then holding this dog, and I'm like, yeah, he's feeling kind of frail. Turns out he's way fatter than he should be. <laughs> again, he's just fat again. But uh, he's figured out that if he doesn't move, you'll yeah, feed him more. Well, I mean, also, he can't move. I keep calling him Mr. Glass because he's just he made of glass now. Uh, but I put him in bed while Jen was getting ready for bed, and I was sitting there petting him, and I just started crying because it was like the first time I was like, man, you are old. Mm -hmm. I can see that you are old, and you are acting yeah. differently, and you're doing this. And Jen came out and was like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. And I, like, I explained all this <laughs> no. stuff. And I'm like, I'm not crying because anything's happened he's not gonna die tomorrow i'm not worried about that but it is that thing of like man we are getting really uh, close yeah i mean we're not like again weeks away or anything but it's like man i can see that in the next few years like he's gonna keep going and then it was but it was just me laying there with him next to me in bed and me continuing to cry and not like sob but like just the constant run of tears yeah. on my face i'm like that's fucking weird i had a similar thing uh my mom's dog max uh, we used to have a uh rat terrier i think it was um, so I, I get the Jack Russell and the rat. Which real talk? Like, why would they name that dog a rat? Because they, they, they went after rats. rats, right? Yeah, they're they terriers that they they go after rats. Oh, so they call they them like rat a bowl of ice. Uh, Not because they look like rats, but because that's it. what they hunt. Okay, and they fucking do. Like he would he would get he would do the thing where he would go after something so much we have to pull him off and his nose would be bloody. See, I you know, need like, to get Jesus I need Christ, to get he fucked up this dog. There's no rats. Teach her a lesson. But there were lizards where my parents had that thing fucking bringing her rats. She'll hate it. And uh, that, that would be her dream, though, right? Of it killing the rats. Yeah. Yeah, but if she had to then deal when with the rats. When they're disemboweled in front of you, yeah, she oh, might think yeah, differently. No. no, but yeah, when my mom's dog started to go, uh, it had it had a thing where something, um, it was either a hip dysplasia thing or something with the lower back where it literally lost, Max uh, was the dog's name, he lost the use of his back legs. Yeah. And I remember going, I was, I was fortunate enough to actually be down there the Christmas that it happened just so I could say goodbye, but I remember looking at him going like, Fuck, man, this is this is like this. I mean, I, I raised this thing from when it was a pup, mm -hmm. like when mm -hmm. you could get it when it was available. I think he was only like six months old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's it's very sad coming to that realization that like, wow, you're at you're at the end of your life. And, yeah, you, yeah. and they just I don't think I'm not going to attribute things that aren't there, but there is there is a look in their eyes of like, I'm just not. Oh, sure. Know, I'm close. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm yeah. not I'm not. I get it. You know, like I'm not I'm not moving around as much as I want anymore. And toward the end of his life, he was so drugged up that he just wasn't really there anymore right yeah, and it's yeah. really, really sad so anyways yeah you get one of these emotional time get them, man they're well, great that's the other, I mean, <laughs> yeah. re, like real talk only all. love for the first six years and then death and then death and like th that is one of the reasons why it's like i would not want to bring this thing into my life because it is inevitably going to die everything though, I, I understand you know, everything like, you don't need to choose more family dies. don't 
You know, the best thing to do, and here's what I say, is to encourage your really good friends whom you spend a lot of time with to get dogs. So that way you can just hang out with their dogs. That's and reason number two. When they poop, you Kern go, hey, Shari. Greg, your dog poops, and they have to do it. And they have to fucking clean it up. Kern and Shari have Chewy and Raja, the little Corgi and the, the Husky. So They're funny. fucking Instagram perfect. It's great. I get to spend time with them. We have a, a healthy relationship. You know, I'm Uncle Tim. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Then I get to walk away from these fuckers and just hear the stories. Stories like uh, last weekend when I was in L.A. and so was Kern and Shari. And I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to hit them up and see if we can, like, get dinner together or something because we're free earlier than we expected. And he goes, hey, man, yeah, no, we actually had to leave L.A. Uh, long story short, during daycare, Chewy got out of his sleeping area and into the small dog's area and picked up a small dog. Oh. Chewy's the husky. Uh, nothing happened. Like picked up like what's up or picked <laughs> up like I'm, I'm going to kill you. Well, what's funny about that is Gia asked me the same thing and I was like, Gia, just so you understand, I don't think this thing picked it up with his hands. It wasn't like hollering. Like, it was definitely a um, picked it up with his neck. Got it by a scruff of the neck probably. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing happened, but on camera, it didn't look good. Yeah. Yes. Please tell me you have the footage. So that dog was brought to the emergency room just in case, but nothing happened. And now we're kicked out of the damn dog daycare. Dude, that's that's that sounds like bullshit. On like the daycare seemed like they fucked that up. Totally. Yeah. If, like, if your c- like cells are escapable, you know. Yeah. So now he's kicked out. So I respond to, to Curran. Oh fuck! This must be what your mom felt like when you beat up Max with the flute. Mm-hmm. Now, other Man, story. story. My best friend Curran beat up this You've kid Max with the flute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, exactly. Quote: How did my sweet boy do this? <laughs> 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 but like, I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. I have enough bullshit to deal with. Yeah, but anyway, I like that I get dude. to hang out with these things. The moral of my story here mm-hmm. is: You found a dog that you like. I found a dog okay. that I cannot put into words. How much this thing has changed my life. Oh, I've seen this. This is the new IGN dog somebody has. There, so that's Gertie. Yes. Gerda, mm. Her name is Gertie. We do not have much info on her. I was going to say Dornbush tweets about Can her. We call call tweets about Can her? we call Everybody someone who knows? on Friday. I saw this dog in probably like, okay. no joke, nine different pictures. And I but saved all of them. Uh, that's that's the thing. Nobody I knows. asked, I asked probably half up. of them who this dog was. We found out today details. who it was, and it's it's not someone that's front facing at IGN. So it's just, Schneider. It's an IGN dog named Gertie, and I see this thing, and I'm just like, "Holy shit! How is this real?" And yeah. then there's just more pictures. Kevin, that's your cue. Like, yeah, I'm going. like what the fucking I hell? Alcohol kicking in a little bit harder than I thought. Keep keep so going. What's that slurry mix slurry then? Like what face. the hell? That dog is fucking cute. There's one more that I want to end on. Mimi. It's this uh, one. Yeah. It's this one with if the tongue. If you're an audio listener, like yeah, the tongue's hanging out the side of Goddamn Disney mouth. character. Now, here's the thing. I yeah, saved yeah, yeah. I saved this picture, right? And there are very few pictures in my life that I'll just be like going about my day and I think about and I'm like, I need to look you at that. Look that photo. There's been a handful of, you yeah, know, sexy pictures yes. that people have sent me over time that I'll be just doing something. And I think I'm like, you know what? I need to look at it right now. And it's just like a fun little confidence booster in that moment of the day. I keep thinking about this damn pooch. And it just makes my days better. See, that's the thing is I feel like what you you lose with the dog stories of uh, Cujo uh, for Colonel mm-hmm. biting this other thing mm-hmm. or Portillo and his fucking oh. ass that is, is, is intent on breaking me, <laughs> intent on making me bankrupt, yeah. is like the hours and hours of personal enjoyment and pleasure and fun Companion. to get out Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, you, I understand. I think, think about it this way. If you had Gertie, and I'm yeah. not saying we... Cause an accident at IGN to get this dog for you. Now here's you know what what I mean? thing is, I want I'm not Gertie to use one of our multiple spies. The that are so better than IGN. <laughs> if, if somebody can, can do me a favor, Stogie come too. <laughs> Stogie and Brabler are at it again. <laughs> if anybody can identify exactly what that dog is, please let me know, just so I have the information in case my life ever changes. Kevin, well, I'm going to need the, the blueprints for the IGN air shafts for Grabler and Stogie. I'm all right? on it. I'll Thanks. start drawing. The Go to the House of Records. Joey Gertie has a thing. Is Thirteen, and that's the thing that's blowing my mind. This ain't that thing looks like a perfect Disney cartoon. Mm -hmm. It's a 13 year old dog. Well, I I know you can correct me. I mean, sure. I'm sure you will. But granted, you've been around him forever now. But like Portillo still gets stopped in the street. and People think he's a puppy. Well, they're just like, what? How old is this dog? And I'm like 13. Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Now, granted, yeah. you've seen the color go from no, his face, yeah, yeah, yeah. his weird shaved ass now because mm. he keeps breaking his legs. <laughs> now, do you think if, if he breaks it one more time, can you have him shave a 15 into it? For the next time he has to, we have to fix that thing. <laughs> oh, we're just tallying it. Just keep tallying uh, it up so people. Jen, know. When it happened, Jen's because like, like you know you you fix these things. You're thinking, all right, good. They should be good for a while. Which is why I was like, he fucking blew it out that third time. He didn't because the surgery worked. But like Jen's like, you know, the next thing that goes apparently they're back, and that's like a twenty thousand dollars surgery. I'm like, babe, if his back goes, 
I think we got to say at that point is all he has. What is his quality of life going to be in the the fucking wheelchair dog thing? I'm not. If your dog is in a wheelchair like that, totally fine. For but 13 years, I'm not. Put your dog out of its. Well, no, no, no. But we don't. We don't know the situation of a viewer slash listener whose dog. Well, that was the problem. Was born that way or something? Oh no, if it was born that way, that's. Or it has. But if it's it's three legs and running one on a wheel, that's a different story. When they have the three legs, they're cute. You call it a tripod. Have you ever seen a three-legged dog? And this is my thing. They figure it out. And this is what I was telling Jen when we were having the real conversation of in LA if it was really broken or whatever, like a, a third time. It was just like, you understand, what I've always heard is that when a dog wakes up from surgery with a uh, leg's gone, they're just like, cool, this is life now. And they just go. They don't sit there and go like, I miss my leg. Think about it. Man, yeah. I wish this. So like, if it is like, cool, your knee's broken again, you just, you hobble now. He's going to be like, whatever. Do I still get fed? Do I lay around and yeah. fart? Yeah, I mean, it's not like his his career as a dog racer is like <laughs> is, is in jeopardy, right? He's not going out there. He's not going to be. He's not a heavyweight UFC fighter. It's like this is how yeah. I make my living. It's just he has a little harder time getting from one pillow to the other. Exactly pillow. where we carry him around the. Yeah, I totally understand that. But like, yeah, with Max, it was really sad because we had to make that choice of like sure. they, there was a surgery that could be done. It was incredibly expensive, and the vet was like. There's no guarantee that this is and actually going to work. the quality of life and how much more and you get out of it. And he was drugged up stuff. and he was yeah. pooping all over himself. And yeah, it just, he, was, yeah, he couldn't move. That. And I'm like, we got to let this dog we go. Finish this. And my mom, thank God, God bless her. My dad are a lot better about this. Because I was like, we need to spend the money on it. And my mom was like, hey, no, Nick. Uh, now, I, I literally was like, I, you tell me. Because I'm flying down there to say bye to this dog. And my mom was like, you're not going to waste $500. No, he's gone. He's gone. Like, they just took him out in the night. It was like, he's gone. Jesus. Yeah. Old yeller. Another thing that won't help you at all with this, but Pertillo's new thing as a 13 year old dog, you know, yeah. now, you know, he's Jen started her own business, Papa Jen, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is the fourth silent partner in Papa Jen, right? Mm-hmm. Where like, I shit you not like the days where Jen has an early morning call and goes to the, the office to do it and stuff. When I wake up and finally open the door, like uh, usually it's like, you want to go outside? You want food? I open that door. And if he notices she's in the office, it's right in there, right into bed to stare at her. Because he's just obsessed with Jen. She is obsessed with him. They baby each other all day long. Yeah. God only knows she turned him against me. You've all seen the YouTube video. It happens. Now the office. thing is, though, that when I come home and like Jen's in one of the bar stools and I'm cooking and talking to her, vice versa, or we're just, you know, doing something else. If Pertillo will look around eventually and be like, oh, no one's paying attention to me. And it used to be that he would go off and eat a t-shirt or whatever. He'll just walk in a room now and pee. <laughs> be like, fuck you for ignoring me. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? What is your fucking problem? Yeah, but he's like, right. oh, you're both here and no one's petting me or yeah. staring or talking to me. Yeah. I'll fucking man, show fuck you. Fuck this shit. I just, I hope I lived to that age. <laughs> oh my god! I'm, like, I'm at a Denny's. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Fourteen like, employees and no one's paying attention to myself. Nick's jokes, and he's like, "All right, oh, walks, okay. in, walks in the Andy's Andy's corny screen. office." Or <laughs> the thing about the about Portillo, if I saw him, I think he's a puppy because I'm stupid and just little dogs. I'm like, "Oh, you exactly, must, little you dog, must be a puppy." Little, yeah, like, that's yeah, just yeah. how that works. But he also has energy for the most part on a walker outside. But the the one difference between our perfect angel Gertie mm-hmm. and Portillo mm-hmm. is it's the eyes. It's like that thing looks like a puppy. Portillo has a cute eye. Pull, pull it back up, no, Kev. I want to look I want to look at her again. Poor Port has that's, that's, that's the thing. Fact. Portillo's face is so perfectly adorable that uh-huh. he's he's almost like a Disney character too. But like, there's age in this part too, right? Yeah, here. yeah. Zoom in on her face though. She's got good set eyes there. She's got love in her well, eyes, she, man. She's I want starting this. to get a little so frostiness bad. in the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Portillo's got the cataract, cataract oh, stuff going it. too. But bring up a picture of Portillo the dog. I mean, you don't even have to just go full screen again. Because this remember, this is what we said when we first I, God, I'm, spatial awareness is so bad. When we first got this image, we commented when this painting was made of Pertillo, they even got his weird eye in there. Because yeah. Pertillo's got those weird, like, walleye <laughs> eyes that are trying to escape his head. <laughs> There's he's, one that's always drifting to the side. He's a watch. regal animal. <laughs> a regal animal. Cool, Greg. What's this dog do for you? You like it? Cool, Greg yeah, says, cool. yeah, it's cool. Can yeah, I comment cool. on what you're drinking? Okay. Or I mean, would you every, be more comfortable I, I if we didn't? Cool, Greg's drinking what you expect Cool, Greg, yeah. to drink. I look. I well, look over. Dog. He's dr- so Henny and cool apple. Greg you kidding has me? Has an actual fucking bottle of Hennessy and a, one of those like apple shaped bottles of apple juice. Yeah, <laughs> it's the best kind, man. What was I that day? It. What was it? A party we did where I brought that and you and I we actually drank it. Yeah, I remember we had that. Yeah, that was a big deal for me. That was a big deal to have the cool Greg drink. You know what the I mean? Cool Good Greg day. effect in full effect. Good day, Joey. How you feeling over there on Shock Mike? Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm thinking, do I want a refill or you do. do I not? You okay. do want a refill. Well, the well I mean, if, if Joey's getting a refill, I should probably Kevin, get on over here. We're having a game over Greg show. It's great. I never knew it was Jim Beam with an M. You thought it was, thought it was Bean? I always thought it was the Like, M. flick the bean? Yeah. 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 For Suck the longest the time, I thought Jim Beam and John and... Uh, uh, John Ham. Jack Daniels were the same thing. We're like Because they look exactly friends. the same. I mean, I think one's black bottle, right? one's white bottle. They just kind of... Mm. They, they taste exactly the same, too. No, they don't. No, they're different. Jack Daniels is a whiskey. Jim Beam's a bourbon. 
You're That's why when the, well, somebody wants Jack and Coke, I, 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 I hate it when we're at a fucking open bar for an event. Like, oh, okay? You're like, no. It's no, can I get a bur- uh, bourbon rocks? I don't care what it is. Oh, we only have uh, Jack Daniels. Like, oh, fuck no. That's right, because Jack tastes a little more like cinnamony, right? It's like sweeter. The whiskeys are sweeter than bourbons, I think. Uh, they're disgusting is what I, yeah, I mean, I think when I think of it. You know I, mean, I mean, you're right. You're Tim, what's your real right. topic? My real topic uh, is from a couple weeks ago. Uh, the topic Wait itself. The dog was the topic? Oh, I no, we're just talking. We're just talking. Gonna gonna it. It. If you think Tim dog. should get this dog, send it to the P.O. box. <laughs> send you know that mean? dog send to the, the P.O. box. The PO I'll box tell you right now. It. If you go to patreon.com slash kind of funny mm-hmm. and give us $2, that's right. Just you. We'll get Tim that dog. No, we won't. We will. Kevin, why are you against it? I just Can I just get the dog, the dog for a not day? not doing it again. Can I have a trial run? Kevin, you don't I'm have to. Grabbler, Stogie, we're the on it. Dogs There's are no way Grabbler and Stogie will effectively do anything. I want to hang out with that dog. Don't be one of those guys like, I got a dog. What me wrong, Greg? Grabbler is going to use his secret identity of Greg Miller to go in there. I'll film a video with IGN. While they're distracted by hilarious I am, and be, they'll fall over themselves. Like, Why did we back, ever let him go? We miss Greg. So we should not never let him go. Nick. Throw contracts at him. Give him money. What happens from the air vents where you went to the house of records and got him? <sighs> smoke just comes billowing in from Stogie, right? And everybody's like, oh, is it on fire or whatever? No. And I'll be like, guys, don't worry. Come a little bit closer to the filming area with me. And then Stogie drops down, grabs Gertie up and out again. In a cloud of smoke. That's a bite plan, you know. If it. anybody steps up, like let's say fucking Zach Jonathan Ryan, fucking IGN's best. Dornbush. Now I want to go to someone. Have you more. seen Zach Ryan recently? I mean, it was, Zach Ryan is featured on NBC Nintendo Voice Chat every yeah. week. He was he went from being a fucking beautiful man mm-hmm. to being a beautiful Perfect. man that is just like Thor like. Oh wow, he's he's jacked. Jacked. really? He put a, he well, put then put definitely a, not him. He looks like he put on like no, not 10. Yusuf, Zach Ryan. No, Oh, just Zach Ryan's working out I with think Yusuf? You, I think Yusuf oh. showed him some stuff, but I think he's working with a different trainer. Because he was when I was working out with Yusuf, he would be there with a 24-hour fitness trainer. But I think Yusuf may have helped him out a little bit. Long story short, I think, he, I think he packed on like conservatively 10 pounds of muscle, with, which on his frame fucking was five fucking and five, great. dude. It's all over his biceps. And now he's like even better looking, and I'm like, not fair. It's the not only fair. person who's wise to any of this, the dark knight of news, Andrew Goldfarb. He knows something's up, and he comes to investigate in the smoke. And you know what happens? Jesus two Christ. stogies. One's, two cigars in... Nick's hands, Wolverine. like Wolverine, Wolverine, right in the Goldfarb's eyes. Yeah. <gasps> He's blinded for life. We Stupid run away Goldfarb. with a dog. No casualties. <laughs> That's a yeah. win. I mean, That's a win. It's a like win for today. Blinded for life counts as a casualty. Sorry? I think that being blinded for life may count as a casualty. No, no, no there's no, alive. Uh, there's no fatalities. Okay. Can you pee on your own? You're fine. He, Goldfarb will be, he can still be the Dark Knight News. He can still run the news videos. Man, having to pee... Uh, Sitting down every time because you're scared of missing because you've been blinded by an asshole named Stogie. <laughs> Tell you what, though. <laughs> Tell you what, though. Suck. Kevin, blessing yeah. in disguise. As we no, all know, I hey, pee sitting no, down. I love it. That's the thing. I, 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 I love I it waste too. No energy. I love it too, but I have the option. You know what I mean? You do have the option. It is it, like when you're in the woods, it does feel good to just, dude, this is going to sound weird. Follow me on this. It's a little creepy, but I'll say it. I don't care. I was at the punchline the other night. Walked into the bathroom. Very small bathroom, of course. First thing you see is a sink. Next thing you see, of course, is whoever's at the urinal. Guy peeing at the urinal. One hand up, drunk. The other hand on his phone. I'm like, if you if your right hand's on your phone, your left hand's holding you up on the wall. Who's holding Captain Winky? Mm-hmm. Like, what's going yeah, on? I, people just I, grab your penis to fucking pee. Uh, yeah, is it? It's not like a fire hose down there. It was just like, whoa. Shit, I mean, to me, it is. Wow. If I let it go, it'll just go, and it starts to arc up and to the left, and then it'll just start spraying. Wait, how does your dick get erect while you're pissing? <laughs> I have, I have. Well, it first off, if there's another person in there, to the left. obvious right. answer. Right. Up and to the left. Second off, the stream oh, is so uh, potent. <laughs> no, it's so powerful that it ricochets <laughs> off and it creates a, a steady stream of push and just goes. I don't know how it does. See, I have to control it. I for me, I've been told I have the a beginning stream. part. You got, I got to at cool, least. Cool, Greg. I need it. you to get me a big bowl and then like a plate, and I need you just piss on the plate to walk, let me see it, and then the bowl will catch the. Come in the bathroom and open the door. I am the, open the, door the, the advocate policy. of the open door uh, bathroom policy. Think of all the things we could learn. I want to see this thing in from action. each other. I think, I think we should we should move on, guys. <laughs> no, think no, of see all the things we could learn like from it. each other if we could watch each other do these things. You know what I mean? Like maybe I pick up a different technique about wiping that I've never known before. Didn't know. Because we don't talk about these things. You ever think about how we, do we not pooping. talk about these things? I don't feel we? like we talk about these things way too much over the 178 episodes or whatever the fuck it is of this show. It's all guys. Oh, that was Games 243. 243. 243? This is 244. Sorry, it's 244. We're getting close to 250. What are we doing? Uh, Getting fucking trashed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Half a millennia. No. Excellent. That's pushing. It pushes itself up. No, it's just unruly. I've made three millennia. I think what it is also is I'm a... 
I don't want to get correct. too into my physiology. It's not. Sure. I'm not. We sure. talked about this before. I'm not an especially well endowed man. I don't but for whatever it. reason, I don't believe it. the stream is powerful. Yeah. And I have to control it. If I let it go, there have been times at night where I've got, I've, I've like in my haze been like, oh, I'm a little tired and I sit down and if I don't aim it even there, it gets wild. And I'm like, what, is there a waterfall? What's happening? I hate it. There's nothing worse than when you lose the gamble of walking into a dark bathroom and you're like, I know where the toilet is. And you start going and you don't hear water on water. Why would you do that? Why would you make that game? (laughs) Don't hear water on water. This is like, this is like fuck, night. am I, am I, am I, am I hitting the Tim. side of the bowl? Am I hitting the floor? Where the fuck is it? Tim, to be fair. You just feel the water creep you, onto your toes and you're like, that's pee pee. You've, you've got a light up bath. I do have a light up toilet, bath. which toilet, solves this problem. I love that idea. It, I just, I, I just can't, I feel like I'd be grossed out by everything on it. By like everything on it? Yeah. What does that mean? It's not black bag, on it. Oh, anything see. on it. You know what I mean? I've never about? touched it. No, not like, but I mean, you put it in there, and then like when you're pooping or whatever, there's got to be poop, poop particles, particles getting, getting on, on it, light, right? But you never touch it. Is it not spackle? But Where is the light? It. It's, it's, it's on the inside around the, the toilet. So, yeah, it's yeah so it's in the bowl. No, Tim, but, was mm. it not a toilet seat that you just replaced the no, cup? Like, no, 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 no. It's this little thing that just wraps around like the. Imagine you have both toilet seats up. Yeah. The cover. I'm, I'm googling Tim. The cover and the seat both yeah, go yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like, so like, it's wrapped the Game Boy into the bowl. Light? Remember the Game Boy warm light? Yeah. Imagine the warm light wrapping over the toilet think, in, into the back I of the bowl. So it's into the bowl. Like it's it. like whatever I all gotta, that gunk you get on the underside of, of the. I don't oh. want to confuse. I don't want to confuse. Kevin, can we Google? Kevin's it? on it. Here it is. Is this it? It's similar to that. Yeah. But like, there's a thing that goes. Into that thing, sorry, right? Like something's to... going into your toilet, man. For anyone much... wondering, that is what my toilet looks like. How much does Gia? <laughs> but that, hate that, that thing's not on the outside. Gia's got a lot, that's not on the outside. Yeah, it's like, right, but well, it I have like it way in the back. You, it's a lot smaller. Is than Gia that. home it's... right now? Can we ask her to go in there and she's take photos? A picture of it. She's not. No. Can we um, ask her to go home? We we you could. Can we tell Joey to go over to your house? Yeah. Cool. Greg's got to have a key. Get in there. Yeah. I don't think anyone's sober enough to drive, guys. It's all an option. Uh, but. I've never come near touching the thing. Okay, I feel like you and I are just talking about two different wavelengths here. I'm not talking about you touching it whatsoever. I'm gross. talking about poop particles and splashback touching the light and like the light gets dirty or I need to unhook it and put a battery in there and suddenly this thing that's been hanging in my excrement, I got to see oh, close up. God. I'm also I'm also on Greg's page as you know I'm very anal retentive. The idea of anything touching like poop particles touching anything that I then touch makes me want to gag. But I mean, you yeah, realize, I mean, about- have you ever cleaned your toilet? Yes. No. It's toilet the, brush. Oh, then you can use the toilet brush to, to do all the But even things. that, that makes me like, here's how just like weird I am. <laughs> the toilet brush touches the toilet. I, hate it. I touch the toilet brush. I don't like it. Yeah. No, even I'm, though I'm I know the handle, you. I know the handle's not Wait. in my brain. The bacteria is climbing slowly up the thing and it hits my hand. Every time I you fart, you, you poop, poop particles going everywhere. That's right? why every time I fart, jump in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Nick carries around that Ziploc bag. Exactly. Farts right Jesus. into it. Exactly right. Fart into it. <laughs> I highly so recommend the light. And I, you're not going to ever notice any of these issues that you're thinking about. All right, man. It's a light. It. I don't trust it. I, I don't get me wrong. It sounds cool and I like it. Yeah. I like where your head's at with it. No, I mean, here's a solution. Lay it on me. You don't need to put it in the toilet. It's just a motion controlled light. Put it in your bathroom. Problem well, then solved. any light. You know what I mean? What? See, I don't like then the I light. Lose, then I lose the thrill of the gamble of mm-hmm. going in there and being like, am I on target or am I not? No, no but that's it'll a light bad, up wait, the wait, toilet, though. Miller, sure. didn't you just say that was a bad thrill? Yeah, but I mean, if it goes right, it's great. I if it goes wrong, you know here, what I mean? Greg. It's the thrill of victory, the I agony of defeat. It, you know what I mean? I can't do it. I don't it. even get up to pee or poop, that, or poop that often. You know what I mean? I get up at least once a night. Really? Yeah, I hate it. Really? Yeah. When I was I, young, I, I used I to it. think my mom and dad were fucking nut jobs for how often they woke up in the middle of the night because they had to go to the bathroom. And now for me, it's two, three times a night. Jesus. Yeah. What? You know what? You yeah. know why it is, though? It's probably because you're wait. drinking too many liquids before you go Definitely. to bed. Yeah, 100%. Uh, it's the same thing with me. Is I'll sit all night, and instead of eating, I'll drink water. And I'll have like three or four glasses of water before yeah, bed, which is the, the worst thing possible. No, eating a full meal before going to bed is probably the worst thing possible. Oh, it's fair. fucking probably well, to be smoking fair, crack cocaine and punching yeah. the window before well, bed. No, I, I meant in comparison to what... It's fine. Well, to be fair, Kev, I also drink while I'm eating the meal. I drink no matter what. This is the problem. Is like I'll go to bed and I'm like, oh, I'll pee once, and then an hour into sleeping, I'll have to pee again. I'm like, I just sometimes I just straight up say no, I'm not getting up. Did you pee in the Dixie cup? Throw it behind your dress. No, I just pee my bed. (laughs) I just go. I just go. It'll fix. I I I don't like it, but since it's so rare, I am kind of a fan of when I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, 
why the fuck did I just wake up? Yeah. And I'm like sitting there and it's like an early, mo- it's like, you know, like how animals get spooked before an earthquake mm-hmm. where I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm probably gonna have to poop here in a second. Oh, and like you wait a little bit. I'm like, yeah, there it is. Get up. Go. Poop. I've never had to midnight poop. Really? I mean, yeah, I'm not I, I shouldn't say never. I'm sure at some point in my life I've had to get up and go to the bathroom, but usually it's just pee pee. See, just like in real life, I can hold my piss all night long, all day long. Don't need to worry about it. But if I got to poop, I got to poop. That's yeah. I, if I have to poop, I have premonitions. Apparently that wake me up to tell me you got to poop here a little bit. See, I can't. I, I have to pee. I can put I, I can hold poop like my one of my favorite things to do. You got to poop before you go on a plane. Wait, wait until the plane is at the apex. No, way. how high terrifying, it goes. terrifying. Then it compacts everything in my brain. The pressure compacts everything in your bowels. Yeah. Shoots out like a cannonball. I once had like, you know, basically like a monkey paw. with. <laughs> I'm gonna change the topic for, for this. For audio listeners, he did he did the garden tool monkey paw with the three fingers. I had like one of those monkey paw wish things happen where I was like, this is great. I don't know what And that, then it turned the on a dime. Do you understand the monkey paw, Kevin? No. Yeah, the monkey paw. Remember the well, Simpsons where yeah, it's like Simpsons you get wishes? is exactly what I'm envisioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where you get three wishes and when the you the make it, it, it goes down. Curls. And it goes like this, yeah. You get three wishes off this cursed monkey paw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> just just take it. I'm just gonna let just it slide. I was right. the weirdest thing in my life. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I'm on this airplane. And we're getting ready for takeoff, you know. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta pee. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, who the fuck cares? I can hold my piss, no problem. Mm-hmm. This isn't gonna be an issue. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'm like, this is best possible scenario pee. for having to use the bathroom yeah. here. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I shit you not I'm, I'm, I'm dying the plane goes and it takes off and it's never happened before and it's never happened since but literally as you're in that dead zone of taking off where it's like well we gotta wait now do we level off and do this it's like a snap and literally all the piss turns to shit <laughs> and I had to poop so bad oh, the I've piss went there. away completely yeah. and it was that no no I gotta fucking poop and again it was like we're up and I'm like fuck I gotta go because I can't hold it so I was like, I made it, but it was like fucking touch and go. And I've never seen my body do that to me of like, it, I was like, if I had a wish or something and then the wish got cursed and it became what I fear the most. The, see, the thing, the network of nerves down there is so complicated and so complex that sometimes the signals get crossed and you think you got to pee. But what that is, is it's the poop pushing against your bladder and your Jesus prostate Christ. yeah, saying I want out, but you don't know because you also have to pee a little bit, but you just, you misread the signal. Now here's uh, Kevin. I'm listening. You've listened to a lot of shows. I need uh, your attention. Have. I know you're a little drunk right now. Joey? Just a little. Joey's bad. gone bye-bye now. No, Joey's delayed. You gotta yell louder. Joey! Louder. She can't hear me? Through that. I mean, you got I headphones yell. on. You gotta yell louder, dude. She's coming. I need you on the shock mic, Joey. I need two witnesses, Kevin and Joey. I'm Nick, you don't qualify because I know you forget everything that happens Fair on the show. Fair point. Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, I don't, I don't think, pay attention. I don't think I've ever told this this little Greg Miller factoid on here. I'm listening. Okay. So and I can't make eye contact with Joey while I say but, so I need you to check if it's right. Have I ever talked about, Kevin, the fact that I have I can't pee while I poop? No, you have not. I well, want, I, wait, I, wait, hold on. I think we have talked about dogs not being able to pee and poop. So we're not talking about and dogs. I, no, talking I'm, just about saying, me now. I'm just saying. We may have 100% I will tell you. <laughs> if, I'm being, if I'm lying, I'm not. Uh, we'll say... Six out of ten times, maybe yeah. seven out of ten times, I will finish pooping and get up and wash my hands and be like, fuck, I forgot to pee. And I'll go back and have to pee. <laughs> Wild, dude. I mean, you are fascinating. Something's you wrong are with me. Not Something's human. wrong with me. Wait, you, do you mean you can't, like, actually, like, you just forget to pee? I mean, or, I just, I'm there for one thing and one thing only. Got it. You know what it. I mean? Reading Reddit and but pooping. But if, if you were to try, like, to pee and poo at the same time, you could do it. I don't, I. Joey's I would right, get I would get something out of there. I'd get you a few drops, but I d- still think there'd be a lot left in the tank. I don't believe it, man. I think right now if you had to poo and pee, and we were like, "Hey, go in there and get both done," you could do it. What day is it, Kevin? <laughs> What's the date? Thirty first. Thirty first. Everybody watching at home right now on the thirty first <laughs> this evening or tomorrow on the first, I will text. I will tweet Kevin. Mm-hmm. Yay or nay, and you'll okay. know if it happened. Can you like happen. set an alarm? I think you're gonna forget. Why? Well, no. How am I gonna? How am I gonna know? This you is know? what I'm saying. This is why you I have mean, to just start. set the alarm with like. A what reminder. is the alarm gonna tell me? I mean, I, the alarm no, isn't synced up to when I have to go to the bathroom. I'm at a reminder. He set a reminder to tell yourself so you do this tomorrow. Yeah. Set a reminder. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take Nick. You take a selfie. <coughs> okay. And then we'll make it the background of my phone. And then, then when I open my go. phone, that's, on the, that's not nearly close enough for a classic no, Nick Scarpa. As, as I take, as I open the phone to go to the bathroom, I'm like, yeah. right, the Kevin thing. Greg, uh-huh. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah, it's really impressive. Thank you. 
No one cannot think Greg Miller by Greg Miller, really everybody. Impressive. That's some grappler thinking, you know what I mean? The, guy, the grappler and Stogie at it Stogie. again. Yeah. Uh, what Tim, if Stogie only <laughs> said Stogie? I kind of envision him doing that. Yeah. I kind of envision that being his yeah, thing. Yeah, like he Pokemon. looks like a really fat Columbo. That's what Stogie looks like in my brain. Oh, interesting. I feel like he looks Fedora, like big thing. I Can't feel really like see he has ass. to be you, though. Stogie. Yeah. There you go. That's the whole point. There it is. <laughs> Just oh, you got close. giant fucking nose. That's <laughs> yeah. how it does it. That's how the phone all it does it when it locks it. You know so what I mean? Much. That's weird. That's just how oh, that's horrible. Can we see it? That is horrible. That's horrifying. Oh my god. If you guys want that Should wallpaper, it, go uh, to Ragu yeah, Bagu Vids on Twitter and for sixty nine dollars <laughs> you can get that wallpaper. <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's awful. It's your professional life, Tim. My nose is huge. I have a big nose. No, no the photo's no, made it. The, photo it. the photo makes it look, for some reason, every time, and it's probably because no one should be taking photos that close, but it does the weird, like, opposite fisheye thing. Yeah. Like, or maybe it's just fisheye. but fisheye. Yeah, 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 I guess it is just fisheye. It flattens. It flattens But it, like, does this weird fucking thing that I, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> I'm gonna be I honest. don't like it either. It's terrifying, but the only reason I do it is because I know Andy hates it more. Yeah. And I said That's it usually a good reason to do it. All things. the time. I literally, when I thought to myself, I was like, this is probably actually like disturbing for him. Still do it. I wanted to have this conversation during our XC and review today, during mm -hmm. Wigging Out. But we never did Wigging we Out. We did, and because there weren't Logan, that many wigs. I was going to do Wigging Out just to give Caliban a shout out for being anti wig. Uh, he was like, no, I'm not no, going to do it. No. Um, but my question, I present this to the table. I present this to the room at this point. I'm listening. Andy Joey. Cortez, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful yeah. human being, has mm -hmm. beautiful hair, uh, just got a new haircut. Did the whole cool thing where like the sides are fairly shaved down and he has a lot going on on top, right? But we all know, how would you describe Andy's haircut? <sighs> cool. J-pop. Uh, J I feel but like it's like, anime hair. But uh, Yes, okay, but if you were trying to tell, like, explain to somebody that was drawing it, what would, yeah. you, what would you say? Anime hair? Are, I'd say some anime hair. But what are the, like, the features? I would say he's got the, sha he's got the shaved, faded side. Mm -hmm. He's got the uh, like long, uh, kind of choppy top, and then he's got the, like, the... I don't know what you call these, but like the... The like Hasidic Jew like side things mm -hmm. that he's got. He doesn't going have on. those. He doesn't have those. <laughs> he does the wisps. Those are a very specific thing that he does not have at all. So that, I get what you're that, saying. He does have the long one. That brings me to my question, which is what are those called? Because he has a bang, like he has the one bang, but then he also has just like the flat. Yeah, he's like, just got the one flat thing that goes here. Like the, he's got the whole flat side Kevin, that goes this way. Give me an Andy picture. I'm looking it up, man. You, I'm there. It, it's the thing that that you, the question you should be asking is why have we not made a video of him cutting his own hair yet? Because you mm -hmm. know he cuts his own hair, mm -hmm. and I don't and understand how he job does it because it actually looks good. If I cut my own hair, it would look like. I cut my own hair. Like it would look terrible. <laughs> yeah. I used to shave when I used to shave my head. I'd shave my own head, mm -hmm. and inevitably there'd be three or Here four spots say, in the back of the head that weren't well, shaved. You got to get someone to do the back. Okay. Yeah, okay. Perfect okay. picture cut. I feel you. like he Great does picture. the back himself, though. That's the he does. Thing yeah, about he has the whole thing. Him. Well, you just said you got to get someone to do the back. If you're shaving it, fully. Do you? Mm-hmm. So it's even. I feel like Andy could do it. I mean, <laughs> watching Kevin do that. <laughs> I'm trying to get just this image to fucking <laughs> like on the It's like watching your grandma try to use the internet. <laughs> right, this well, fucking fiction. Fucking my bad, dude. I know the solution was right there. All right. Okay. Calm down, Kev. You got this. You got this. We're looking at Trevor. Are we going to show the audience Oh, this? my God, Kevin. <laughs> this is better. Just okay. it up. None of those distractions are just fucking, There we go. Perfect. All right. Good job. <laughs> if, you don't it, know, if you don't know what Andy's uh, haircut looks like, there it is. Audio so listeners, is, it looks like Andy's haircut. I assume you've seen Andy. So, Nick, I'm assuming this is what you were talking about, the, the Hasidic... Well, yeah, that's the bang. No, 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 that's the, that's the bang. He's talking about that, he's talking about that, the, the right tough here? there, this that one? looks nothing like how Hasidic now, can Jewish you people wear their hair. Hasidic Jew. All right, mm -hmm. well... Is it Hasidic, Hasidic? Hasidic, Hasidic. Hasidic. Ah, fuck, what was that great... No, this is not enough information to help you at all. Is it a movie? No, it's a book. It's a it's a required reading book you would have had to read as a kid. New York City... Two boys that were friends, one a Hasidic Jew. There you go. Yeah, that's <laughs> that doesn't look anything like Andy's hair, as I pointed out. This is the specific part you're talking about right now. You're talking about the curl. Yeah. Yeah. Right go, to the, go to the guy that you said no, no, doesn't she, no. look like Andy because it kind of does. That looks a lot like Andy. Uh, you're all stupid. That Pull if up. anything looks like oh, Alex okay. Solomia. Like Alex I don't just, understand. That looks it exactly does. like that Alex, Alex Solomia. Face does, but like. I'm talking about just the, the hair. hair does not look the hair any does with the minus of the curly Fucking cues. Google Pete Wentz. That guys, looks like Andy's guys, hair. I don't Fall Out Boy lead singer. Guys, Andy's hair. Google I, Mike. I don't Shinoda. know which one's which. I don't <laughs> which one's Andy. Hold on, hold on, Kevin. I'm gonna close my eyes. You open it up. Ready? Andy. No. Oh damn it. I didn't know. But so I just want I need to get some definitive answers here. 
My question is, how did how does one go about choosing this lifestyle? It, and that, I, don't, I don't exactly. mean the lifestyle of the Hasidic Jew. I understand that. That's based on thousands of years of tradition. Every time the desk gets me, at least once a day. I want Mike Shinoda, please. I'm uh, right there with you. How do you... You're Andy's uh, sitting at home. He's fucking painting his toenails black. Right. He's listening to fucking Dashboard Confessional. Close enough. And he looks in the mirror and he's like, you know what I'm going to do? Cut my own hair right now. No, what I think it was, it was... I People don't do it right. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut my hair the way I want to cut sure. it. Which is not symmetrical at all. And not looking like any style. Now here's the thing: you can whatsoever. say that, sure, but Andy fucking pulls it off. And oh rocks. no, I think it looks great. And every every one that I've ever met who uh, thinks he's adorable, absolutely, yeah. it's unequivocal. He is he is adorable. He's adorable. I just don't know where. Like at some point, he used to pay someone to cut his hair. Yeah. When, at what point did that transition to? You're not good enough, sir and or ma'am, barber or, and or stylist. I want to do it myself. Not only at what point did that happen? What was his mother's reaction? Because you know that was the thing. I bet Andy's dad took Mm -hmm. him and his brother Aaron to the Mm -hmm. same barber shop in fucking far Texas. Mm -hmm. And they've known him for years. They all used to go get their hair cut together. And then one day... And he's like, they Give knocked me one on Andy's bang door, and the acidic juice. And Andy's, yeah. and Andy's like, I'm not going. I'm going to cut my own hair. And then his mom would have been like, me, I, I could imagine Andy's mom being the one that cuts his hair. Mm, She's been nailing for years. Maybe. And one day he walked out there, and he was like, Mom, I'm going full fi- Final Fantasy here. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Is, you don't get that. Because the thing Noctis, is, N-O-C-T-I-S. it used to be more uh, emo when he when he was in the band in high school. Remember mm-hmm. the high school band video we made fun of forget? on the Seminole Morning Show where I was like Uncle six Fina? months late to that that joke and I was like, fuck it, we're going to do it anyway. Um, now, yeah, now it looks not? exactly like this, which is weird because he's not really into like anime stuff. Yeah. He yeah. loves Gundams. <laughs> but That's in a joke reality, you keep he doesn't, you know what I mean? No, but it became reality, remember? I keep remember? telling him to buy Gundams so I can build them and he's like, no. But see, even Noctis has kind of evenly, he has banks. It's Those balanced. are banks. Yeah. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Andy is like, fuck symmetry. But you know? that's the thing that's and so it exciting. it works. I think it Nick's works. onto something. But I think you- the haircut spurred from some sort of band outing. Oh, yeah. Where they were out somewhere. And he was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna cut my own hair." Guys, guys. But then the we, other question is this, and I wish we could. I wish Andy was still Andy alive so we could ask him this question. But <laughs> should we just get him this outfit? You yeah, know what I mean? Hundred percent, Kevin. Hundred percent. Get it in small though. Um, here's the question: At what point did the hair like? Was he ironic about it? Like, hey, I'm gonna do my hair like this funny emo, oh, man, and then just no. kept doing it. It was 100 percent on purpose. You calling your mom? Call no. Andy. It's ninety dollars, guys. Let's say we get it. It's not that close. Well, remember when he dressed up as him in the 30 second review? No, did he? Look it up at Bomb oh, Fancy 15. Right, I'll, do your I'll homework, do it. Kevin. It. It's not the same at all. Where was he I'm going? At it. It's a short <gasps> he, he was just slacking me. I'm surprised he's not He's asleep again. A long, no, he was awake. Long he, jacket. He, nah, it. He's probably, I don't want to deal with this shit. Yeah, yeah he knows what's happening. <laughs> there's no, there's no possible. He's probably in the, the Funhouse interview right now. So busy. I'm actually super upset at how different these jackets are. It's clearly a leather jacket. <sighs> Tim? Yeah. What's your topic? <laughs> still doing this? I love that I've had two topics today, and, and they've and they've and gone for an hour and ten minutes. Here, yeah. here is my third and final, the, the, the final topic of the day. Yeah, bear. Uh, I'll be looking forward to that. A couple weeks ago, <laughs> what was that? One of my one of my best friends in the entire They're world called the Tim over Greggy show. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes they do. Some people have. I've heard people do that. Right, cool, Greg. Tim and Greg show. The Tim and Greg show. I I'm down to I will cancel this Can podcast the Tim and show the with Tim, Nick the Tim and Cool Greg show. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, so please, please pull. Uh, no, no, not yet. Actually, not yet, not yet. One of my best friends in my life, Brandon Colonel. Brandon Chu. Well, current. They've known each other since they were three. Same squad. Same squad. Same squad. They've known each other since they were three. I met them when I was ten. Okay. So uh, he, since I've known him, has uh, done kung fu and d- been a kickboxing instructor. That's what he does professionally, mm-hmm. but in his free time, he fights. He does. Yeah. He does like kung fu tournaments. He does uh, kickboxing tournaments. I don't know all the different MMA for for people. Things. Uh, from what I understand, and there's a lot, obviously, tons of martial arts, different styles, whatnot. But I think he he takes a, uh, a specific type of kung fu called tatwan, which I think is what uh, one of one of my friends that I think with instruction says the closest analog in the UFC is uh Steven Thompson, Wonder Boy Steven Thompson. Uh, who Nick. has sort of a style of like kind of coming in and then going out. So Nick. kind of a karate style. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm super impressed right now. Thank you. Yeah. I, th- yeah uh, by Ta- the way Tat Wong is where he teaches. Yeah. It's, that's the name of the school. So I don't know so if that, that is sense. I don't know if that's the discipline or just the name of the school. Like, you know, 
stop. You know what I mean? It sounded great when you said it. Just cool. stop. <laughs> but he, he's Let been the internet this. correct you below. Since I've known him, he was a student at the school. Padawan. Became, yeah, he was a Padawan, like legitimately. Uh, well, he was an apprentice. He wasn't a Padawan. <laughs> he was an apprentice. <laughs> uh, and then he eventually became a teacher. And now, now he's, he's been sorcerer. doing it for like 20 years. And uh, he, and since I've known him in the last six years, he's had five fights. Where like one year he'll have two fights that'll take a year off and whatever. One of those years, he's undefeated. Or was undefeated. What was his record? Um, whatever. Ballparkish. That's it. Five and oh, or, what, how many fights? I think he's only done six fights. Wait, I thought there yeah. was a okay. fight in Brazil. Boys. He lost. And Love everybody, did, did he lose it? I thought it was. It was. Tex- remember, remember it was the one he, with the blackout. He won in Brazil. He, he went to Brazil to fight. That's fucking and crazy. He and it, the, when he told us five years ago at this point, I'm gonna go to fucking Brazil to fight. We're like, don't do that. That yeah. sounds crazy. They're pretty You've serious about the fighting times. sports down in Brazil. I just want yeah. everyone to know. They don't fuck around down there. And he was like, he was representing this fighting style in America. Yeah. Pretty in cool, Brazil. Man. It's pretty rad. Like crazy shit where I'm like, all right, that's some other level shit. Uh, anyways, for the last year, he's been letting us know like, hey, next year, I'm going to do my first cage match. Mm-hmm. MMA, real fucking fight. Yeah. God, we were so stoked. And uh, obviously, uh, obviously, you guys are all going to be there. It's like, mm-hmm. he's our stadium, which is the same like it's the cool San venue, Francisco by the venue for the outdoor for, venue. No, well, the outside. Yeah. There is an indoor venue. Thanks, My apologies. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, actually really cool. And it's one of those things. That, like, did if we were ever to throw a prom again, that would have been a cool venue for I, that. We were about to have it there. Oh, really? Uh, they wouldn't allow us. Oh, when we were looking, they're like, sorry, we gyms. only allow cage fights. Yeah, because I walked in, I was like, this looks like an old school high school gym. It's you know, really, really cool. All the ones on parks, you have to leave by like seven or eight. Those weird rules, like yeah, they're asking you have to leave a certain time. That fight went way later than that, though. And they were selling booze there. So how dare you? Yeah, it, was, a, you? it was fucking weird, but whatever. Um, so we all knew this was coming. He's been training. So the last, I'd say, six months. He hasn't had any alcohol. He's been eating super clean. And this is a dude. He's uh, 5'3", I want to say. Tiny dude, right? He's not 5'3". Brandon? He's as tall as I am. He's 5'6". No. How dare you? No way. No way. They all look like ants to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do. I'm, I'm one of the sure. ants. He's 5'3", maybe 5'4". Let's call him. Anyways. Little one. Anyways, uh, he, I've seen him fluctuate. Like, I've seen him go up and down about 40 pounds Mm -hmm. in the last six years to get to different weight classes for fights. Sure, And it's the most insane thing because like I'll see him bulk up and then just like turn into this tiny little dude. And every time he's always super fast. I'm like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't know how you can do this to your body, right? Um, But he's been super diligent about it and like training. And this is the first time where he had to get outside of just his, um, what are they called? Weight class. Specialty. Not, not jurisdictions, not no, specialty class. disciplines. Class. Disciplines. Yeah. Ooh, disciplines. Outside one. of his discipline. Uh, and if you're doing MMA, you need to be able to combat the different mm-hmm. disciplines, right? So he had to learn a lot of jujitsu mm-hmm. for this one. Um, all of us were super scared. Then we heard that he had, a, a, which opponent he had, and we found out his name or whatever. So, of course, our whole friend group was like looking into this guy. What's his name? Is this fucking really intimidating? Don't remember the dude, but it was just like, all right, like, he looks way more intimidating than Brandon ever has. Um, but let's look into him. The guy eventually backs out of the fight because he saw a video of Brandon fighting and was oh. like, fuck that shit. I don't want any part it's of that. a good call on his end. And so we're like, that's fucking dope as fuck. Then they got him another dude. Very last minute. And Very the, last minute. No, no. This, this is the second time. Oh. There was another guy after a couple months. They're like, we found you another guy to fight, whatever. A week before he was supposed to fight had to get down to the 155 uh weight, weight class. class the other guy backed out because he couldn't make weight mm. so three days before they got the final opponent for him at 150 so he had to drop an additional five pounds than he was brutal. planning for six months to do and then we all saw his opponent kevin please bring this up Jacked. Are you we kidding were, me? He'd, he'll be. He, I, I could tell you looking at these photos, he's going to beat the shit out of the guy in the World Series champion shirt. He's afraid to take his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. I so you can see. Uh, if you're an audio listener, Brandon is here in a party mode shirt. Shout out to Brandon. Mm-hmm. And then Brandon then takes off the party mode shirt with, I assume, the referee behind him. And his opponent Please is there describe shirtless. describe both of their bodies, Greg. Brandon looks like. A normal man who probably enjoys kind of funny content <laughs> and <laughs> cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> but like, from my perspective, Brandon actually looks like a grappler. Uh-huh. He actually looks like someone who who is who practices martial arts but does not get shredded for fights. Meanwhile, all the time. Brand- to be fair, Brandon really likes cheese fries. <laughs> who doesn't? I get it. 
Brandon's like opponent looks like a superhero. I, now, I, now, stick with me. I'm, I'm, I would say he could easily be on Michael B. Jordan squad in Black Panther. 100%. He could be opposing Luke Cage in the next Luke Cage thing. He's an African American gentleman with a mohawk. I describe. I'm sure it's not official because it's not no, thin. It's Tattoos badass. across the chest. I a six like pack there. This it muscle fucking, right here. He's got definition in his sides. He's got. I, he's doing he's things shredded. here I've never even he's fucking, fucking seen. Shredded. You you can't see it, but the guy in the World Series champion shirt has pissed hard, his pants looking hard at this as man. a rock still though. Jesus. What? I thought you were oh, going to do the Nick Scarpino thing where he's getting the erection and pissing off to the side as he goes. <laughs> but I like to look to my right as it goes left. Let's see if you're looking at me. It's just <laughs> going, it's it's peeking whole, over my, over my head. Yeah, the dude's going got on. a couple inches on Brandon. Oh, yeah. So that's the other thing. So Brandon, whether Brandon's 5'3 or 5'4, this dude was 5'8. So okay. it's like, man, so then, this, yeah, Brandon's things five, are not, not looking good. All of us were very scared, very supportive of him, but very we're very sure. scared. Very have you seen Brandon fight before ever? I have. Okay. There's been two times I've seen him fight. Does he, is he just fight. is he insane? It's extremely impressive because how of how fast it's he quick. is. Quick, yeah. Like you just don't expect it because you look at him, and you're like, "There's no way." Like, he looks like I mean, I'm not tiny and like I'm not like, trying to be insulting at all, but he looks like I, he looks like a normal dude. If like if most of not, not me because I'm fucking fat, but I feel like if you were just a normal down the street, like hey, normal guy, take your shirt off. I would imagine a lot of normal guys look like that. So I wouldn't think, man, he's gonna fucking kill somebody. No. Um, so oh, where's the whole fight? No, it's just uh, that that the final fifteen seconds. But oh, wow, um, we were very scared. We ended up going, and I I was asking everybody like, "Oh, do you want to come or whatever?" Cool Fifty dollars tickets to go to this thing. Yeah, which was like very overpriced. Did you pay or did you get in? Totally worth it. No, we it. paid. We we all had to pay. We all had okay, to. Sorry, to it's worth it, by like, the way, because you didn't. What you didn't tell me until afterward, and I was too tired because we had just come back from. What was it Comic Con? Yeah, we, yeah. We uh, still, I was still at Comic Con. Straight from Comic Con was that these were there were uh, I think seven amateur fights and then seven pro right. fights afterward. Yeah. So I didn't realize that. I didn't realize there was a lot because I saw a couple of my friends there that I train with and they're like, yeah, we're sticking around for the pro fights. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, oh, there's like eight more fights. I'm like, oh, that's not a bad. That's like four time? out. No, I, I can I, see with a little pennant and the cotton candy being all excited. I went home and passed out because okay. I was tired as fuck. From sure. Yeah, you, but you had a really hard comic. Fifty dollars. A lot of money. But <laughs> for four hours of entertainment, of sporting entertainment, where you see two people gladiatorially beat the shit out of each other, mm -hmm. it's bad. worth it in my book. Bad. Similar now, to Portillo. So exactly. Nick went, Spread Nick the money paid $50 to, mm -hmm. to go to this thing, which is very cool of him, uh, as did we all. Uh, and we're, we're there, and it was just so crazy to be in this arena that I've been for been in a million times for like high school sports events and shit. But to see it set up looking like a fucking UFC fight, I mean... A toned down UFC fight. But no, I mean, no, like, this is what a UFC fight looks like. You right? shared this video, right? It's an uh, you shared this video, and I was impressed by how quality this looked. Because when you were describing it, you're going to go watch your friend fight. You need to leave Comic Con early to go see your friend fight. I was like, oh, cool. I expected it, yeah, to be like APW, right? Yeah. Like, you know, we're, and it's going to be not low rent, but like more amateur. Where yeah. this looks really good. I mean, so it's a uh, it, it. I mean, yeah, it's amateur pro, and like this is the NorCal Dragon House is the name of the mm -hmm. the promotion. How can we it. get the kind of funny logo on the mat? That's the big I question. Don't, I don't. We, we can spot. I think, I think we just give them money and they'll just put yeah. it there. Kevin, look at how much it costs. <laughs> I don't want to. It's, um, it doesn't seem worth it. So we're, we're there and it's my whole group of friends growing up. Like literally, like Curl. every current was there. Sorry, everybody. Winnie was there. Like literally, it was like a no, who's who. No shit. I didn't know how many people were there because there was another section, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is a really nice turnout for Brandon, right? Is his name. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, there's like 15, 20 people here. Then there was a whole other section that was just like his the half the fucking bleachers. It was his family and Tat Wong, the, yeah. the school. And his school came. Too. It was all there. Yeah. So people were like coming through, and this place was packed. Like it wasn't sold it was out, but out. it was damn close. Yeah. It looks great. I mean, the audience, you'll see it here if you're a video listener. If you're an audience listener, it looks great. Well, so the thing is, we're sitting there, and what, what I listener? wanted my topic to be originally, yeah. I've kind of like Fuck went nothing. way too into the, the fighting stuff, but. <laughs> We're sitting there with all of my best friends I've ever had. Yeah. And Thanks. we're seeing what well, well, I mean, I'm fucking, fucking around. Working. It's a joke. Calm down. We're sitting there and uh we're <laughs> looking we're loser. we're wait we're, we're we're seeing all these fucking titans go into this ring and beat the fuck out of each other. Everyone shit. good fights. Man. And we know really? we know that Brandon is about to come out fighting this guy. Cuz my my one worry with with amateur fights is that people weren't going to engage like they'd be gun shy and these sure. guys came out fucking swinging. It was yeah. they were actually the, the three fights prior to this. I think one ended in like 15 seconds. Now let me set out. the scene, Greg. Please do. We're fucking sitting here and all mm -hmm. of us are kind of talking like, "Hey, how you feeling?" And there wasn't a single one of us that was like Oh man, he's got this. the way he got this. All of us were like, I just don't want him to get hurt. Have you like, seen I this really guy? Just don't well, want him to get it hurt. was very last minute that they switched to this guy. And, and he had to like, drop his weight even yeah, more. It was scary. Now I'll say this. It's punctuated by, I think, two fights before this guy. 
uh, there were these two gentlemen that got that 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 tussled it up, and one of them got knocked down. I want to say thirty seconds was, into the no, first round, fifteen, so 15 seconds. seconds, fifteen seconds of the first round. This guy gets fucking punched in the just face tagged. and just Down. drops. Dropped. Now and it was, we're all like, "Fuck!" Then we find out that not only did this all happen, he was with the family sitting right next yep. to us, and after the fight, came up to us with his face fucking mangled. Yeah, his nose was. He was like, "I, I heard someone say I broke my nose," and I looked up, and it was him. And his face was fucked up, but his nose was, the top part of his nose was where it should be. The middle part was a little bit about an inch oh, over to the left, no. and the bottom part was where it should be. He's like, I think I broke it. I'm like, yeah. I was like, yeah, you, you definitely broke it. Like, you want to fucking go, bro? It was a black eye his, that oh, made yeah. him look like Two-Face. Like, it oh, was that's just. That's cool. <laughs> he got, if you yeah, got to have a black eye, that's tagged. the way to do it. You know what I mean? He got so we were all fucking scared. And so, like I was about to say, what I wanted this topic to be is like, what's the most nervous and scared you've ever been for somebody else? Sure. Because this undeniably was 100%. that for me. I was so fucking scared for Brandon. And thank God he ended up being fine. More than fine. He won. But before that happened, <laughs> I need to tell this story. He fucking, everyone else comes out and they have fucking music playing. And like, I got to say, as a fan of production, Piss poor. Piss mm. fucking mm. poor. These guys have their fucking volume up to like a 13, so everything's just distorted, distorted as shit. shit. And they're all coming out to butt rock anyway, so yeah. it's just fucking sounds like shit. Um, anyway, they come out and like, it's not like WB where there's like pomp and circumstance yeah, and like titantrons. It's just there's music playing and then Some like guy people walks walk out, out yeah, and yeah. it takes way too long. Um, but for some reason, Brandon comes out. We're all losing our minds. He comes out and the other guy was in the ring already, right? So we got to see this fucking scary ass dude in there. Then yeah. Brandon starts coming out. And we were like, all right, why isn't he getting in the ring? The music just keeps playing. They start playing another song. <laughs> There's a third intro song playing. We're like, what the fuck is happening? And they're like, attention, everyone. Does anyone have some nail clippers? Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, Brandon. <laughs> Toenails were too long, which is dangerous. Toenails oh. are too long. You can cut the other people. So you have yeah. to get them clipped. Brandon, like, I found it later because I talked to him. He was like, he got approved backstage. Yeah. Like, There's like people that do it. But they have a ringside ref that, that looks you over. And the ringside ref was like, nah. And Brett Brent was super pissed. He's like, the fucking momentum that I just had. Like, you're just ruining, even though they just approved me up there. Yeah. What the fuck? They got clippers. He got clipped. He got to get in. All of us were like, what the fuck is going on? Do you have? I thought, see, you, you threw me. Because I thought the story was going to be that he had some, they weren't produced intros, so he had a produced intros, and it was going to be like, does anyone have nail clippers? And it's like, he's like, well then let me introduce you to the nail clipper, Brandon! <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So, Nick, I'll, I'll let you take it from here. Explain the fight. Uh, it was a good fight. Um, I, I don't remember what round he won. Really I think it was, it was the second. Yeah. Uh, the first round, they, they stood up a lot, if I remember correctly. It's all a bit of a haze right now. Brandon, uh, very good outside leg kicks. Just landing a couple of very fast. Um, and his form, from what I know about stand up, which I don't practice a lot of stand up disciplines, uh, was fucking really great. It was a good fight. Um, his his opponent, very athletic. Um, but when it went to the ground, which I believe it went to like midway through the second round, um, I think Brandon got in trouble at one point and ended the round, round one. I think he got inside control at one point, got out of it. Um, and then second round, he caught him in a guillotine choke uh, in, out of guard. Which he learned from from one of my instructors at my with this, at the, my jiu-jitsu school. Is that um, fucking which was him? Yeah, it was very weird. Like I was, It was obviously a small world of fighting in San Francisco. But I looked over and I was like, oh, someone's wearing a bay jiu-jitsu hat. I'm like, that's cool. And then I looked, I was like, oh, that's my buddy Tim. He's a brown belt. And he, he destroys me. And so he was uh, he was in his corner along with Jeff, uh, who was a blue belt at my school, who also is a black belt at Tao Wong. Mm -hmm. And so Jeff Kung is an Fu instructor Jeff. there. And Jeff, uh, we call him Kung Fu Jeff because he's got like badass tattoos of Kung Fu and stuff. And we're not quite sure what he takes otherwise, but now I know it's Kung Fu. Um, yeah, they were cornering him. And I was like, oh, that's really, really cool. And uh, I, get, I asked him after, I was like, did you teach him that guillotine? He's like, yep. Yeah, and later I was talking to Brandon. He was just like, "Yeah, I've been going to this guy for a while now to specifically learn jujitsu to kind of complement the other fighting yeah. styles I had." And he's like, "I practiced all these specific moves," and I was like, "I didn't expect to use it, but for me to fucking finish the it's, fight with it, it's one of those things that's very weird, right?" So, like, one of the things about competing that you you learn a lot about yourself, and even in the small in-house competitions I've done, I've learned a lot too, which is that a hard and fast rule is if you go in with new, with something you haven't really trained before, you're not going to do that. Yeah, you you literally will you will execute what you've trained over and over and over again. 
And that makes sense because I was, I'm like, I bet he trained that guillotine. You don't just go into like, and it was an arm in guillotine, which is really hard to finish with the gloves on. Um, That's how he finishes this. Yeah. yeah. Do you want, let's watch we'll this. We'll right. see it in a second, oh, but just, okay. just to explain it real quick, because I want to talk about it in like slow motion before we get there so people can see what they're, mm. they're looking at. Sure. I, I talked to Brandon in the last couple of weeks, like after the fight, like what it was like and what, you know, and he gave me all this information that obviously I wouldn't have fucking known. Um, but he was like, dude, it's crazy because like, you practice and you can never practice at full speed because no matter who you're going against, you're not actually trying to beat them until you're in the fight. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, and then when you're in it, it's weird because all of a sudden things turn slow-mo. He's like, I remember every single thing that I, mm -hmm. I was doing as it was, as it was going. And he's like, yeah, when I finished it, like I saw an opening and I just fucking went for it. He's like, and it felt like activating your supers in Marvel versus Capcom where you just kind of go in and like, Strike, 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 and get into the right place to do the fucking combos. And he's like, "Yeah, like I made him tap, and the ref didn't see it." And that for me, if I can jump in with my thing, as someone who knows the bare minimum, has watched UFC fights or whatever before, and obviously knows winging that fights, winging fights, wrestling, uh, winging fights with you, yeah, and wrestling or whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, that was the scariest part for me watching the clip is that yeah he goes down and the other dude taps and I'm like he tapped and the ref doesn't see it I'm like that is so fucking terrifying of like to put yourself in that guy like fuck I'm beat this hurts you know yeah. what I mean of like hey it's happening and I know it happens even more terrified if you go out yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? Of like what, yeah, what the other, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's fucking I mean, so the ref saw it even quick. Quickly saw it, but, but yeah. It's it's a matter of nanoseconds, it, yeah, but know, it is it, like it, he has enough time to be like tap once, then stop tapping, and then go back to tapping. It's one of those things that it's it's some of the most can like controversial moments in UFC is when the ref either stops, stops the early. fight too early or too late. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there have been multiple times when like people are like, you should have stopped that fight maybe six, seven Don't punches wrong. prior to that. I can't imagine being a ref trying to keep it all straight in my head, watching all of this happen, yeah. trying to get every angle, which is impossible. Well, I don't know. I don't know the rules of this. Uh, of this, uh, They fight to the death here. Yeah, I, I assume as much, but I, I don't know necessarily the rules uh, 100% here. But like, yeah, in UFC, if you're in a bad spot and someone's basically ground and pounding you if they're on top or if they're just basically punching the shit out of you, you have to be able to put up a, a defense. Yeah. So the, the ref looks at you and says, okay, he's defending himself adequately to my liking, but there's a thin line between that and, and getting I'm fucking, fucking locked. knocked out. Yeah. And, and there's, there's a, I think the most famous one was, I think it was Dan Henderson versus um, Michael Bisbing where I'm going to get this wrong. I think Henderson got knocked out and as any hit the ground and, Instead of the ref stopping it, he let it go one more punch, and Bisbee just fucking landed or smack in his face against the mat, and it's like it's the most brutal thing you've ever seen. I've in your seen life. it with you watching him, where yeah, the and guy goes down, and you say this. it first of like he's done, yep. and the ref gives it a because like you want to give that that guy's trained forever, think, and like yeah. you don't want to be the guy who stops early where it is that it's down, and I'm about to reset. It's got to go down, and then nothing. You like, see, and the, yeah, the worst is when you see the guy. Like there's been a couple in recent uh, memory, uh, the Francis and Ganu fight where he fought. Uh, Oh, uh, Alistair God. Overeem, he fucking s just, just stiff board, just hit him, Ooh. and you saw the body just go stiff and fall, and he just rightly so was like, he didn't even fall through. He's like, I it's win. done, it's done. Oh yeah, oh, this is the Boom! oh my God, that's the one when they 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 fought we a saw rematch. Saw the one the guy in the mat getting fucking. Yeah, pushed. they fought. They they I think they did a rematch, and Henderson was like, I gotta get a that little bit. That did not look like it was the ref's fault. That looked like he was going for the kill Again, shot this man. is all <laughs> happening so fast that if you're in the ring and you're the ref, I totally get it. Not, it's adrenaline. It's happening. It's this. And like for us to be sitting there on our couch, like just chill. I'm like, oh, fuck. That's oh, how I never look. Really watch this. If, I if, you, if you're fighting and you're and you're not finishing the fight, you finish the fight. You train to finish yeah, the fight. Right. Totally. And that's not Bisming's fault. The ref should have stopped him. Um, but you know, cause you give someone an extra second, they might recover. There have been and people then, that have been knocked like that. that. And then if you wait an extra second, they, they, they get their wits about them and they recover and maybe they win, maybe they don't. But uh, yeah, so I mean, no, but that one was a little egregious. That was one where you're like, come on, dude, he was fucking out. So this is the last 15 seconds. Uh, so if you're an audio listener, fight. we'll describe. Uh, now Mr. Scott, Brandon's going to get this guy. Mute it? Yes. Okay, We're going to mute it and talk over it. Here you go. Brandon's so up. Brandon goes for a kick. He doesn't kick. Other guy. What's the other guy's name? Well, he's down. Other guy's down. Brandon laying in some punches. Punch, 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 punch. Just fucking punch. And, and there, there's the kick. choke. And, and then see. there's the tap with the off. Or here it is. There's the tap with the off ref hand. And the ref comes back over and sees yeah, so, it. So, I mean, here the ref, so I think, I don't know if he saw that tap or not. He tapped twice. And sometimes that's not enough. Like sometimes you're just trying to get a grip. Sure. And it can I mean, be again, a I'm a guy at Comic-Con watching this. And I was like, right. he tapped. But again, so, I think right. the ref's just on his he's right. Look, he's, like, he's left hand. He's here. definitely yeah. He's, he's looking at the other hand. He's then. tapped there. But see, to me, I would I'm like you got when you tap, you got to fucking tap. Yeah. Now, to be fair, I don't know 
uh, I know that joke. I don't know. How, I don't know necessarily how to finish that with the arm in because he has. You see, he has mm-hmm. arm. Yeah, yeah, I can finish it outside of the arm, but that's that's really hard to do with the gloves. It's kudos to him for pulling that off. He looks great. Yeah, that looks good. Brain scary. Got his, Dude, his right it blew over. our fucking minds. And obviously, like, I don't think I've ever been in an experience where I went from such nervousness to just such. Is elation a word? Yeah. Such mm-hmm. elation. Like, I feel like everyone we were with was just so fucking into it. That's why people like what, fighting. Like, man. I, I feel like in the first 10 seconds when they both came out, my nerves were gone. Because I was also tremendously nervous at the situation. And especially with it taking five minutes for him to go in. Uh, as soon as he came in, he started kicking. And I was like, oh, all right, dude. He's moving a lot He's at faster least than the, yeah, the other gonna guy. He's going to be okay. Yeah. Not getting knocked the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, I, would say, I mean, I would, say, so fast. I would say he's probably... he's. He outclassed that fighter. I don't know the guy's name, but I think that he he did a very very good job. His striking is was on point, and he knew more about the ground game than the other guy did. And so what's crazy is the other guy. It was almost the exact opposite of what Brandon was saying. He did not remember the last thirty seconds of the fight. Oh, really? Well, he got tagged too. And uh, so if you if you see in this fifteen seconds, he got tagged and went down. I don't know if, how Brandon hit him. Oh yeah, oh Brandon, yeah, yeah. Brandon there's, tagged there's him another and clip of down. like more shit, and Brandon gets some fucking strikes on him. Yeah, he got yeah. his bell rung a couple times. And it's and just, it's crazy that once that happens, then you then all of a sudden the slow mo shit stops. There are people that when you get really knocked out, they they say they don't remember like the last like couple rounds of the fight. It just is a blank slate there. It's yeah. just your body's natural, I guess, defense mechanism of being like, well, you got to go on. So I'm going to wipe this from your memory, this horrible event from your memory yeah. so you're not scarred for life. But I will say that one of my other friends was uh, helping him train, his, the opponent, mm-hmm. and he was like not very happy about the loss. But that's, you know, that's competition. Yeah. You know, you, you get in there and you try to do your best. I want this to continue to go. I'm not trying to stop it. But real quick, as a throwback to our topic before, just got this uh, oh, slack fuck. from Here Jen. Here we go. You got a slack from Jen. <laughs> guess who just randomly barfed? Great. It's Bertillo, not Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been either or. Could have been um, either or. So what was cool is, you know, obviously he won. It was very exciting. Everyone was really happy. Um, but what we were surprised about is immediately after. So he wasn't the last amateur fight. There was one more after that. Mm-hmm. He was the only fight that they interviewed him afterwards. Yeah. Oh, sure. They were all like, what the fuck? And they came down and like the there's recruiters there. And like, that's how it all works. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the promoter came down to interview Brandon. And like was just talking to him. He and Brandon was like, I didn't expect that shit at all. And we couldn't hear it because, like I said, the acoustics fucking sucked. But I just want to thank God. <laughs> Let me come out here. <laughs> exactly. Punch as good as I could have punched today. My opponent, he's a great man. Uh, but there's like a bunch of people now reaching out to him based nice. off this one debut win where they're like they're trying to get him to go pro. And the difference between pro and amateur is just saying you're a pro. Should yeah. we tweet at Dana like, White for him? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Well, I feel like the, I feel like the pros want to evolve and and climb up the ladder of success. Like I, the, my idea of someone who goes pro in a circuit like this would be that your ultimate goal would be something like the UFC or one of the divisions that's like that. That's a little higher paying. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's now a lot of uh, opportunity in those markets where there wasn't like maybe 15 years ago, 10 years yeah. ago. Uh, having said that, I would absolutely recommend against Brandon going pro. Me too. I hope Fighting he never fights is again. Really, really hard on your body and your brain, and they. It's not a fun life. From like, what hell I no, man. I, I don't ever want to be that scared again. But to be fair, like, kudos to him because he, like, this is as close as you can get to a legit confrontation with someone and know how you're going to do. And now he knows more. He knows something about himself that very few people know. Right? Mm-hmm. He knows. That's a real fight. The reason you're scared is for the same reason you, you used to be scared when someone challenged you to fight in high school. It's a fucking real fight. Anything can happen. Yeah. People get really fucked up getting fought, like, fighting. You know, and as best as they can, they have a lot of rules and regulations, and they have refs there that'll hopefully stop it. But there are people that just aren't, they get knocked out. They're just not the same. Yeah. They're just, their fucking head is Dude, I hope that never fucking happens to them. Hey, at Dana White, at Tim Getty's friend, Brandon is good at fighting. You should look into him. A, it's B is his name. A Y E I T S B is Brandon Chu's Twitter. If you want to, Brand- no, nah, I'm not really gonna do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I just thought it was funny. Yeah, uh, yeah like but- for instance, for I mean, just as a, for example, uh, Michael Bisman, the guy we were talking about before with Dan Henderson that knocked Dan Henderson out and then hit him on the ground again, has a detached retina that he can't Fuck get fixed because the doctors dude. are like, you get it fixed, but the second you get hit again, it's gonna detach again. Ew. So if you look into his one of his eyes, I think it's his left eye. It's all oily because they have they have to put stuff in it to keep the eye like from getting fucked up even more. Fuck that. So as soon as he retires, I think he's gonna he has to have the surgery on that. But yeah, he just has a kind of a lazy eye. And he can't see out of it as a fucking fighter. Ooh, the depth. And he's still brutal. Oh, God. That's and he's not still good at fucking brutal. Just people. like Portilla. Was yeah. exactly like Portilla. It's exactly all set like to go. Him. You know what I mean? The, the quick two follow up stories I want to tell about. Hey, this mommy, I'm enjoying the show. Uh, we went to dinner afterwards, and it was such a celebration. Like, his family was there who I grew up with. Like, was the other fighter across the way well, eating so all by himself? To, like, really with, sad? No, he definitely was not invited. He was super upset. Um, but uh, Brandon's dad was my middle school principal. 
and Gia's dad was like my brother's high school principal. They're all in the school district together. They're going to fight so next. So Gia grew up going to Brandon's house. They just didn't like know until we started hanging out mm. recently, which is hilarious. Um, but anyway, so we're there, and it was like a big family affair. And we went to a Japanese restaurant, which was Brandon's oh. cousin's uh, restaurant. Like he owns it or whatever. But his cousin wasn't there. He told them ahead of time, we're, like, we're rolling fucking deep. But we went there. And we're having a good time, drinking, ordering food and stuff. They ran out of rice. Yeah, I We celebrated so hard at a Japanese restaurant that deep. they ran out of the ability to make sushi. That's awesome. It was that is fucking great. Ridiculous. Then Brandon choked out the owner. Yeah, exactly. It was fucking graphic. Um, the other story. What's up? I was going to say, by the way, I think the other uh, the other thing that about going pro is that it's an official record at that point. So when you when you start, when you go pro, having actual pro sanctioned fights, that means your record is now on it record. Matters. Yeah, it starts mattering. So when people get to the UFC, if you have a record of 20 and one, those those matter a little bit more than amateur fights, I think. And that's what that means. Um, so whenever people came out, they'd, they'd have their nicknames, right? Like the pure one, the fucking producer, seducer, or, or whatever it is. And I, know, I would um, not fight under the producer, seducer moniker. Grabbler. <laughs> I would think Grabbler and Stogie. Stogie. Nick Stogie. Um, like Doink and Dink. There it is. Exactly. Um, but even the debut fighters would come out with some name. Now, uh, James Burke has been trying to get branded for months to come out as the dragon. And it's like, no, do not fucking come out as the dragon. There's nothing cornier than that. Like, you can't do that. But, but hey, I, want you to, I want you to do the quick pitch of like, no, come out as the dragon as James Burke. Wait, what? what? Do your no, James I'm Burke not, impression. I'm not doing that. It's, I'll do it for you. Go. Well, James Burke Dude, be the dragon. <laughs> That's my James Burke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I love James Brandon. Burke. Love James Chinese? Burke. Yes. Yeah, so you can't be the dragon. I, and, and Brandon knows. Can't be the dragon. So Brandon's like, I'm not going to be the Lee's fucking moniker. dragon. Can't do it. Like, can't do I'm it. not doing it. So whatever. That was a whole conversation. Um, but it's been like a, a joke. But like we've been talking about that shit for months, right? Half making fun of James, half making fun of Brandon. And um, then the night of the event, the guy that was interviewing Brandon was like, why didn't you come out with a nickname? It's your debut fight. Like, you need to have something. Because yeah. everyone else that was their debut fight, they had whatever the fuck it oh, was, yeah. right? Porn Mr. Star? Shingles. Someone came out as the porn star. That's dope. Was it, it Joey Ryan? Like, no. <laughs> it wasn't the porn star. It was just porn star. Um, Did you say I would weird be Mr. Shit. Shingles? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, death is coming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but at, towards the end of two it. Two time, two time Shingles. Like, they were giving Brandon shit, so we kept giving Brandon shit, and they made fun of him. They're like, oh, Mr. Nail Clip, or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Now. But the night after the fight, we all went out yeah. and and uh, we're at a fine establishment called Hooters, and we're just this is around. like a week long celebration. You guys we're just, just going out. Living living you wine invited me to the Japanese restaurant, but I did not get the invite to Hooters, and I'm disappointed. There's, there's a reason. You know Nick, I like there's the a fried, reason. You know Nick. I like the fried pickles at Hooters. You I only go to them. you only go to Hooters at Comic Con, and for fried pickles, just for the fried pickles. No, no other reason. So uh, we were having this conversation about like what next time he does it, what should his name be. And uh, the that group that the tweet that we just watched the video, like it said some shit like I choo choo choo. It's you. a Simpsons reference, yeah. Uh, Brandon Chew, Brandon Chew, whatever, and all this stuff. And we're like, okay, like the, it's like a train, and we're trying to come up with puns for what we could do. And eventually, it fucking hit us. And me, of course, Rocket. being the the production guy that I am, <sighs> I'm trying to come up with a brand already. Mm -hmm. He made this motherfucker tap right. So here we go, sleep train. Almost put him to sleep. Brandon the sleep train Almost chew. Put him to sleep. And what happens is when he comes out, we can get the whole fucking crowd going choo choo, get a little chugga chugga action when he's coming down to the fucking yeah. ring, right? Sure. Imagine everyone just fucking chanting, and it's like, "Welcome to the ring, Brandon, the sleep train, chew your, your ticket, ticket to, to a, a better, better night's, night's sleep, sleep, motherfuckers." That's sign great. It up. That shit writes itself. Sign it up. What's it up, Dana itself. White? You watching it's this? It's so good. Fucking sign them up. Best thing about it, sleep train doesn't exist anymore. It got they bought. Can't it, it got bought by mattress can't firm. Sue. So now. We own it. That's how that works. That's how it works. That is how it works. That trademarks are uh, they're no longer valid. We said it on the internet. Else. Do you like yeah. that though, Cool Greg? Yeah, it's real good. Hell yeah, Brandon Chu, the sleep train. Cool Greg, do you think Brandon Chu can make the Undertaker tap? Oh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Now, no. now, no. the Undertaker now. No, Undertaker, Undertaker's right where he wants you. He you know what I mean? He thinks he, you think he's so tired and all. Ballpark it for me. How, how big is the Undertaker height weight? Six 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 six. How how, how yeah? If he's from he's from Death Valley. What do you think about two? two <laughs> I got that part for you. Like two fifty two. Parts unknown sometimes, but then it came back yeah. to him. Yeah. Huh? You're like two fifty two sixty ish. A little I don't, bit more. I don't fucking know. I don't know. How, how, how much how much how much the Undertaker was weighs? He Wasn't he one part? I thought. Is it just a warrior? Was he? Oh, he, I thought he was Death Valley, but then they tried to. Oh, I heard it was Death Valley. No, it must be Death Valley. I must be wrong. I don't know. Okay. I do have a story about a city Jews though. 
Because I heard you guys hey, wait, talking about it. Wait, is this what we actually should say on the air? <laughs> yeah, one time I was with him going to New York, and we were on the plane. Uh, it's the only one I ever talked to, mm-hmm. or that I know of. And he offered me candy, and it was mints. And that kind of pissed me off. That's the only story I got, though. Okay. <laughs> hey, it was still a nice move, that right? Is, I remember that, though. That's weird. Nice of him, though. Yeah, mints mm-hmm. aren't candy. Definitely not candy. Also true. Mints are not candy. Uh, and here's why. Here's how you know. How many pieces, How many mints can you eat? Three? Infinite. Four. They if there's candy. little mints that are on Joey's my, my, desk. My, at least ten at a time. Yeah, but they suck. Those things suck. <laughs> they do suck. Those like, are like mints. How many mints? If you if you put like mints in front of me, you put mints in front of me or Reese's peanut like really like Reese's pieces, I'll fuck up a whole bowl of Reese's pieces. I won't, I won't stop until you tell me to stop. Mints, you get to a point you're like, hey, you're right. this is too minty. You're right. It's gross. It's not candy. But unless it's chocolate mint. Oof, you're fucking saying it right. Like yeah. uh, you threw right into my words. What are those things called? Junior mints. Oh, junior mints. God yeah. fucking oh, damn, God. man. Bro. Mint in general, if it's not in a toothpaste, I don't want it. Isn't that your favorite ice cream? I love it's my favorite ice cream. Mint chocolate chip. What happened to fresh vanilla? I want to fucking just even today. I got to the it. diner mm-hmm. to eat my breakfast, and I was like, I still got too much of the toothpaste mouth taste. You know what I mean? I'm drinking coffee, trying to wash it out. Are I hate you that. using that extra like extra strength no, toothpaste? Just, no, because that shit. There, there was a Colgate we had that was napalm, dude. Where it's like four I hours. Did. I'm like, I taste nothing. I feel like that was a moment where everyone discovered this, and they're like, it keeps your mouth extra clean. I was like, oh man, I want my mouth to be extra clean. You do. And this thing was so minty, it numbed my mouth. Like, you get five hours into the day, and you're like, why the fuck is the mint still in my mouth? I live for that shit, about? dude. dude the you're fucking, a monster. Is it, is you're it, the weirdest monster I've ever met. With the scope? I need no, scope. That's if my toothpaste great. don't have scope, this, I don't want it in my mouth. This was like long-lasting crest or something like that, and it was terrible. It is like, crest, yeah. Yeah, it was terrible. Well, yeah, you gotta get crest. Well, it's Colgate, this crest. I brush my office every day, because when I wake up, I brush my teeth, I'm gonna throw up. Can't do it. My stomach can't handle it. Okay, I understand. okay. You're not supposed to, you it's know, you're not supposed to swallow the toothpaste, right? No, I know that. It's, okay. just, it's just all the taste and everything going on. I can't do it. I'm just saying sometimes I swallow toothpaste a little bit. It fucks up my stomach. You can't do it. You got to spit it out. You got to spit it out. By the way, to this day, whenever I go to buy toothpaste, I think back to that episode of the Game yep. of Grey show where we ran. I was like, let's Aqua rank fresh. the toothpaste. And I didn't know I was e- using the bargain bin toothpaste. <laughs> we were all like, oh, God, no one uses Aqua And fresh. I was like, what are you talking about? It's been popular for years. I've used it forever. And then I thought back. I traced back the lineage of why I use Aqua fresh, And it's because my mom buys the cheapest fucking toothpaste <laughs> possible from Costco. And I'm like, yeah, that checks out. That, that checks, checks out. out. True. That's a mom That's thing to do. Way. Yep. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show. Off, fucking coward. Each and every, we had a, we had a, we're going to a business dinner tonight between <laughs> us. We have a post show to do and everything else. If you didn't know, each and every week, four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Oh my God. Each bring a random topic discussion for your amusement. <laughs> I just wanted to slap if it you, hard once. Yeah, slap me hard? Oh, okay. Uh, if you like that, ass. you can head over to patreon.com slash kind of funny where you can get each and every episode early. How early? You can get it or as early as we record it or you can get it the Friday before it goes live. That's right. One week of exclusivity before it goes live on youtube.com slash kind of funny and podcast services around the globe. If you're watching live right now or if you're watching the video version on patreon.com slash kind of funny, we're about to roll into that post show. Remember, yes live viewers and video viewers on Friday get a pre and post show to the game over Gregory show. Uh, we've been drinking. I assume it'd be pretty good because this show has been really good. Hasn't it? Yeah. Cool. Greg. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Two things. Okay. Kevin, please. Wait, should, should this be pre-show? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Stay to the post show. If you want to see the gold that you're about to ladies to and gentlemen, us. until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Thanks for watching everybody. Click up here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click down here to support us on Patreon. Click over here for more Game Over Greggy episodes and click down here for what I hope is smut of Winnie the Pooh. (laughs) Yeah. That doesn't make sense if you didn't watch the post show. So support us on Patreon, which was over here because that's actually would get you the information. I'm going to sneeze. Kevin, cut it.